Ah, how's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into it with another Grim Rolls Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition session with this wonderful little homebrew in... I, well, we nickname it Not Japan because it's Not Japan. <laughs> that said, a uh, little twist here. So this is actually my Star Wars homebrew group who have been kind of wanting to try out some of the fun stuff involved with my long-going homebrew of ninjas and yokai. So I said, screw it, and why the hell not? And literally kind of designed their own little campaign for them based in the same world, literally in the same time as the other group, with, uh, strangely enough, two of the returning party members of that group in this one and playing different characters. It's, if it sounds confusing, my apologies. It is confusing. I promise it will get a little bit better. And also my apologies as I literally try to figure out why my music is so up oh, because it's hitting a low point in the song. That's why. Let me crank that up just a bit. But yeah, and we're just going to have some fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rejoin the Discord and uh, yeah, tell them what happened in, well, my wonderful little world of hell here. The Sander movie that, that he was selling jewels or something? Huh? I have not was, seen anything with Adam Sandler in a while. That, that's the thing, he usually makes terrible movies, I agree, but that movie was pretty good and people loved it, but he got no praise because it was Adam Sandler. I mean, honestly, I liked Pixels. You, you kind of expect certain things from Adam Sandler movies, I find. And it right. you're, you're just disappointed when you don't get those. <laughs> yeah, like, that um, a lot of actors. Like, okay, you, that that, that you movie was Johnny Depp, You're expecting a good movie. Honestly, if I got Johnny Depp in my cast role, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just going to let him pick the role he wants out of the entire movie, and it's just his now. Dude can do this anything. Johnny Depp is Johnny Depp is the new John Wick. Wait a minute. We need Johnny Depp in a movie... It's a biopic about Keith Richards. <laughs> the fuck? Bye. Oh, uh, Grim, before we kick things off, do you mind if I ask for one thing? Yeah, shoot. What's up? Um, Blessing of the Forge allows me to either put a plus one to AC or attack or damage rolls. Could I apply that to my AC, please? Yes, by all means. Okay. Yeah, by all means. If the spell literally says you can, you just can. No question. Grim, I have a question. Oh god damn it! These are the ones I'm actually worried about. Here we about. go. Okay. What Nova. is the spell slot? What? I'm what? Trying How to spell slot work? I'm trying to not smash my face into my keyboard right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, basically, my dear Dova, a spell slot is something you use when you cast a leveled spell. This is a spell that is anything that is not a cantrip. I have a follow-up question. Uh-huh. Is it a, what's a cantrip? Yes. A cantrip is a lesser form of a spell you can cast without expending any resources other than your action to do so. Mmm. If you They're want to your called sheet, level zero spells. Yeah, on your sheet on the spell section you can see the cantrip on the title there. Ah. Also, warlocks play a bit different, so depending on your level you can cast different amount of spells and when you get later on warlock levels you actually get like uh free one-time castings of higher level spells or you could just Don't worry about that or you could if you get the right invocation you just cast a certain spell for free because warlocks ah all right so let me get this straight so that is a cantrip yes correct and that is a spell this is true yes all right also, what level or warlock are you? Just for something quick. Four. I am level 4 warlock, level 4 fighter. Okay. When you cast a spell, you always cast it at level 2. Always. Yeah, that's, that's how warlock works. Yeah, that's the other thing. Warlocks, when they do cast uh, leveled spells, they cast them at whatever their max spell slot currently is, because that's just how they work. So... Oh, crap. That used my spell slot. Let me... You have two spell slots, and always at level 2. That's pretty, pretty much it. Always max. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry. We're, we'll guide you and we'll, we'll make a spellcaster out of you yet, Dova. Anyway. Am I supposed to... Uh, I don't know if that uses spell slot or not. What, Burning Hands? Yeah. It does. It does. Do I need to add it back? 
Yeah, you do need to add it back because you didn't actually cast it because this is just fuck around. Okay. Did I actually use it? I don't know. I doubt it. I, you I typically have to mark them manually, so yeah. no. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any uh, weird ASI for this stuff. API. I don't understand things, so please Whatever. forgive me. Hush, I'm tired. I'm happy because my dog's feeling better. Anyway, on to the, the meat and potatoes of this all fun stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Just how much does anyone know about my ninja campaign I've been running with uh, Air Rats and more here? Absolutely nothing. Shut nothing up. past that one <laughs> one shot that we did. I'm in the same boat with Dova. Basically, uh, my summary version is they played ninjas uh, who didn't ninja. Uh, they uh, <laughs> until the end. Until the end. God damn it. They ninja the fuck out of the end of it. That is true. That is true. Um, I was. No one was more surprised than me, and uh, except me. possibly you. Yeah, definitely me. I was like, holy crap! I came up with a plan that actually worked, and it actually saved their asses. Holy fuck! And now I'm gonna throw the CR19 at them because I'm an asshole. Salt on the <laughs> wound with the, a plan that actually worked. <laughs> I'm sorry that Dodo Mecky had a fucking passive a 24 more i don't know how often i can apologize for that <laughs> it, it makes yeah. sense it's made of eyes but whatever oh, yeah but I yeah like so so basically so they uh had a few different missions where they went around to take care of various yokai related things and it was uncovered that their um that let's say an evil warlord was in league with his demonic or yokai ick uh ancestor uh to attempt to conquer the land uh they did some stuff to uh try and get various allies in fighting this guy and eventually they took him on themselves and defeated him in literally like two or three turns. Yeah. Because and then they fuck defeated the DM. His, yeah, and then, <laughs> his and then they defeated his mother turned yokai, but that's an another story. Now onto the fun fact. As to what your characters would know, you would know that yes. None of that. Well, you would know that Odo Nobunaga did try an insurrection of sorts, literally try to conquer the entire land, remove, at the very least, all of the elves from the land though how far he was going to take that no one really knows for sure thank god he kind of went and died before he could really see anything to fruition um you would know also that during the end of the little insurrection there the demon lord kijin himself aka yokai goddamn satan himself ripped the roof off the top of Oda Nobunaga's castle and made a proclamation that the mortals have earned their right to coexist with the yokai. And just to make his point clear, he rained down literal fire on some poor unsuspecting yokai to prove a point. Why? Because fuck that yokai in particular. <laughs> its name was Yoshi. His name was, in fact, Yoshi. <laughs> His name actually was Yoshi. I had it in my notes. His name was Yoshi. <laughs> of course I'm, it was. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> anyway, um, that happened. The following two weeks after that were moments of a bit of contention as some daimyos, some leaders of the land, had a little bit more trouble than others trying to assimilate yokai within their populations. Um, great example... Here, let me actually just pull up the world map real quick, just for visual reference here. Ooh. Now, some things have changed for those that have seen this map before. Like the music. There's a mainland now. Oh, yes, there is a mainland. It is named, and there's all sorts of new crap here. So... Grand example of how things have gone in the last two weeks when it came to assimilating with yokai. Up north, here at Date, Akita, and the Fukura Forest here, honestly, they were basically already kind of living and coexisting with yokai. It's just a little bit more evident now. So they had no problems whatsoever. Shingen, 
a little bit of worry here and there, but ultimately they were very accepting of yokai overall. What is left of uh, the estates of Oda Nobunaga was kind of a point of contention again for the simple fact that no daimyo wanted to lay claim to the land seeing it as cursed. And rightfully fucking so. Hold up, wait, where is that city place? Ah. Yeah, it's gone under a new name, and I'm going to explain that in a moment. Um, no one wanted to touch it. Toyotomi didn't want anything to do with it. Shingen wanted nothing to do with it. Kenshin offered to take it over. Toyotomi and Shingen immediately voiced against that, out of fear that the elves would have a little bit too much power and land and forces. And it would immediately throw the entire piece out of balance. So instead, they looked to the yokai and asked them to find a sort of figurehead to actually lead in rebuilding and basically gave what's left of Oda's estates to yokai themselves. And funny enough, an absurdly powerful yokai who is the father of one that Eratz's and Moore's characters in the other game know decided, no. decided to take up the mantle at his daughter's request, came out of retirement. Though you're he, kidding. I, yeah, you're kidding. I shit you not. This is actually what's in my lore. Oh, no. Now, that said, again, he's very passive because he's retired. He honestly doesn't give a damn. He honestly delegates most of his rulings to people he trusts under him. That said, the estates of Oda have been renamed to Fukumadan, which for those that want to Google Translate that, by all means, it's kind of a fun thing. And it's kind of just worked for that. In the lens of Toyotomi, they had some trouble with Yokai, mostly because Toyotomi may or may not have rumors spreading about how he was possessed by a Yokai. Ah. And because of that, he kind of has all of his armed forces eyeballing them very closely out of suspicion but still mm. accepts them to a degree that was funny and then you get the kenshin they don't allow yokai actually within the walls of the kenshin estates but they still are willing to work with them to a degree so outside of the walls of kenshin where it's this beautiful spotless elven castle in the shape of Japanese architecture, on the outlying walls are actually slums of yokai. Huh. Yokai slums, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, another little fun caveat that I'm probably going to get into more detail with the other group. Rumor has it that the one who fell Odo Nobunaga proper was actually a descendant of the long-forgotten Nakano estate. But that's probably just a rumor. I mean, yeah. to you all, it's just a rumor. That said, it was a rumor that grew very popular really quick as immediately people started rebuilding the Nakano estates. And even just to show just how powerful that rumor was, managed to get the actual blade of Nobunaga himself as a centerpiece and essentially made it a sort of shrine to teach those willing about the ways of yokai. The good news is, that is the end of the two-week world lore that Eras and Moore get to hear more in depth in the Monday game again. <laughs> okay. Now, on to your specific group. Your specific group being a kind of hodgepodge of yokai themselves, maybe trying to prove their worth, maybe trying to prove that they are willing to coexist with mortals themselves, maybe just trying to show up mortals themselves and just show that they're better and that you should still be feared. Who knows about the reasonings? Decided Maybe to just curious. Yeah. And easily entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find work as yokai uh, and as one dwarf who may or may not be viewed in the best of lights. Not exactly easy. That's said, outside of Shingen, you did all hear about, whether it be from a job board posting, a message, word of mouth, who knows, about 
an up and coming adventuring company oh, owned no. by the name of BNJ Adventuring Company with the slogan of We Make Your Problems Our Problem. B and J. What was the name of the other? Bernard and John. John, yeah. <laughs> oh no, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> now, as to how you all managed to meet up, maybe you met up on the way, one by one, speaking about how you heard about this interesting job that is taking on literally anyone they can. Maybe you did out of curiosity. Maybe you're looking for work. Maybe someone said it probably pays insanely well. Who knows? But that all said, you do all eventually find yourselves at the supposed location of said adventuring company. Walking down a fairly well-made gravel path, Two sets of buildings astride either side of you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta update your token. Damn. My bad, Erats. That's fine. But buildings set on either side. A well off to the side itself. And up ahead, a small, though, well-made shrine. You find two men standing, waiting. At seeing your approach, they grow visibly excited. And they immediately call out to all of you. Oi! Oh, fuck. You all there! You, uh, you all happen to be looking for work, eh? They're not, of course, they're looking for I'm work. Why Why wouldn't they be here if they weren't looking for work? I don't know. Maybe they just want to see the shrine. We paid money for this. Shut up, John. <laughs> Go ahead, Ark. My apologies. Uh... Out of no no need for apologies. Out of character question: Can other people see something on the map besides just black? Can you yes. not? Oh, my ball! One moment. Make it day. Woo! Hey, that's a map. My apologies. I thought I set up your token, then I realized I changed something on it, and I have to reset it again. That's my bad. One quick moment. I got update future maps for this too. God damn it. Save token. There we go. Um, what was the name of this uh, place again? Oh, well, let you're here at the B and J Adventuring Company. We make your problems our problem. And we're looking for those who wish to be, to be, to be, uh, uh, adventurous. You're yeah, adventurous. Yeah. I'm sorry. I almost said muggers. Old habit. My apologies. Huh. But you're paying. Oh, right. You are. We're paying. Goddamn right. We're paying. In fact, we actually got a job lined up right now. And oddly enough, they paid pretty damn well up front. Not gonna lie. Uh, Grim. Yes. Just want to ask so that way I'm certain of the area. Um, question one. Did I actually assist them in rebuilding this shrine, or did <laughs> they just have fuck all luck trying to find me? <laughs> That's up to you, man. Okay. I'll say that they probably found the dwarf that no one wants to keep in their town, since everyone is probably has him on a watch list. But, two, who is this shrine dedicated to? It's kind of a general shrine, though, honestly. It's... Honestly, they were debating left and right about its purpose, until I would say you probably mentioned it. It's like, why not just make it towards the joy of coexistence between mortals and yokai? And them being dumber than stumps kind of just sat there for a moment thinking and then nod their heads like, you know, right, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a smart dwarf right there. Uh, that's a smart dwarf. Smarter than us. We're dumb. <laughs> I gotta say, you guys are pretty friendly for humans. You seem to be adapting pretty well to the new way of stuff. Well, quite frankly, see, we're very friendly to those 
who don't randomly pull out a horseshoe and threaten to violate us with them. What? It's a long strong esque. Believe me, you don't want to know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a horrifying story. Uh, honestly, no one believes us. People just keep thinking that we're crazy. But hey, we make their problems our problems, and that is our slogan, and it took me a week to memorize it. Oh, you're not supposed to tell uh... people that. <laughs> and what would what would seems to be the problem, then? Well, I mean... We did just recently build this. Honestly, it's mostly made out of grew. No, John, they need the job. The job, the job, right. My apologies. Uh, right. So, fun fact. Uh, little Lord, uh, I think he's from Shingen. Honestly, I don't know. He's kind of fruity, honestly. A little bit of a weirdo. I honestly think he's a half-elf, but... I, no racism. No racism. No racism. Anyway. Um, he has tasked us with finding out... Uh, the disappearances. Right, the disappearances. Um, apparently, somewhere on the coast, not that far from his estate, there have been rumors of fishermen, villagers, and just random travelers by going missing. And they want us to investigate it. Ah. One moment. I look to the shark. Did you do this? Did, did you... <laughs> <laughs> it really you suspects the man-eating shark. Have, have so I feel this to look at him and go, Hold her. <laughs> have, have, have you been swimming in the nights without telling us? It's just, it's just a head shake, no. No, no, no. I trust you. No. No. Uh, water, I don't like that. Well, what do you guys think? You mean other than the fact that I don't think I'm going to get a better offer today? Uh... I'm assuming I know about some reputation you have. Here you okay? Uh, you... And... I mean... Yeah, but he's, a, he's a, not a yokai. No, but he's something of a slightly infamous dwarf in some circles. In some circles. There's in a ch infamous? There's a chance you might have heard something. How old is Natsu again? Uh, like 400? Oh, yeah. You definitely heard about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I probably have not. Nah. I mean, if, if you keep our company, you, you're you not going to find a better workmate. At least for now. Indeed. You I see, don't suppose either of you have any leads <laughs> as to what we may be expecting. Uh, I mean, frankly, no. I, we, we were just told to investigate disappearances, and they paid us, uh... Let me think, uh, one, two... Uh, a shit a ton. They they paid us a shit ton up front and promised more upon completion and solution, whatever that means. You know, suddenly I'm glad that I decided to take up your offer. This place wouldn't have gotten off the ground without me. I mean, he's not wrong. He's literally not wrong. That said, I mean, if you if you need a little bit more of a. a a peak in interest. Um, we are going to pay you upon completion half of the upfront payment upon completion. And that number for the total, uh, god damn it, John, how much did that man pay us? He paid us a thousand gold, yeah, right. He paid us a thousand gold. You oh, okay, slowly, how much are you going to pay us for doing this? 500. Not bad. I can do a lot with 500. Hey, we're literally doing this for the son of a lord. Imagine the reputation. More isn't job. This the lord, isn't this the lord that has a terrible reputation? I mean, he's gotten better. He even has his own estate now, I hear. I mean, granted, it's mostly um, 
He actually stops and looks across the entirety of the party and uh, swallows hard. <clears throat> um, you okay? We must visit that place. Yeah. What, what was that lord's name again, John? I, I can't fuck her. I don't know. It was either Takeda or Tokugawa. I can't remember. I just remember it was a Shingen. Oh, right, right, right. Isn't that the fruity one that kind of likes men? I... Why, why would I know that? What? Why would I know that? Well, I don't know. I, I figured you were just, you know, in, kind of into... I am not into men! How dare. <laughs> wow. Defensive, aren't you? Don't judge me. I don't judge. So, just to recap, we, have to, we need to go to this place where people are disappearing. And this place is a fisherman village, right? Well, it's less of a village and more so kind of just off a path by a beachhead, supposedly. Uh, supposedly, it's within like three miles of a beachhead. At least that's what they kept telling us. They they were very adamant about that three mile thing. I don't know why. Like they refused to make me forget it. Uh, I don't like going to the beach. It's, it's hot and bothersome. But yeah, I guess. Uh, how many people have disappeared once again? I think he said six. John, did he say six or seven? I think he said eight. Did he say eight? Where am I getting six and seven from then? Because you owe me six or seven gold from the last time we played cards. Right, you're right. Yep, eight people missing. Yep. All these ruffle for eight mortals. Oh, okay. Well, when people go missing in your land and no one explains why, lords get worried. Because the people worry. When the people worry, the lords worry. Because the lords are worried, they're worried about insurrections and such. And therefore may have to put down their population and such. Bernard, how the fuck do you know that? I read. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I read books. And scrolls. I can read. I just like whisper to the group, he reads them upside down. That reminds it's me. That's actually quite impressive. It, yeah, that's quite impressive, actually. <laughs> okay, Tetsuro, take... Take fucking inspiration for that, because that's beautiful. Also, Art, take inspiration for the nice recap, because you actually watch the videos before I forget. Wow, someone that actually watches Grimm's content? Um, do you guys have pastries lying around? <laughs> I mean... I gotta smell something. Uh, no. I mean, also, we don't got much here, food-wise. We kind of, uh... We spent all half of the earnings kind of on just basic necessities, you know, rice. Mostly just okay. rice. That's some decent sake. We did pick up this nice uh, weird flask from Drunken Monkey. Apparently, uh, the owner had heard of us from somewhere and actually gifted us this, like, really ornate thing. We've had one drink of it so far. We forgot the entire four days. Hey, can I have one of those pastries? The bird oh. ruffles its feathers, and... That's not a pastry. That. <laughs> you can't quite tell whether it's being playful or combative. Yes. Ruffles its feathers, was it ya? Meow. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that reminds me. For signing on, we are also offering, as a bonus, we are offering, we are offering, uh, room and board. Right, we're offering room and board. Thank you, John. How hard is to find a place to stay as a yokai in this land? A Depend, decent one? Uh, depends where you're at and where you're looking. Uh, Shingen, not that awfully hard. Uh, the Tokugawa estates that have been booming recently, insanely easy. Uh, hmm? I just kind of asked. Does um does Natsu have the tail in the open? He has four tails that you can see. And and the ears as well. You can clearly see he's a kid to me. Considering what you are, 
You can find room and blood anywhere, I think. <laughs> you see him turning into a copy of, of yourself? Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, you have kind of a bad rep. He turns back. Hey, John, ain't that one of them fox people that uh, kill you when they sleep with you? And I don't say that out loud. He might try. All right, good point. It's only after. Yeah, right. It's only at. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not evil. It's after. John, we might want to look into our uh, clause about including all races and such. I'm just saying, you know, maybe maybe add a little little caveat there, little little note about some things here and there. Yeah, but then we wouldn't get anybody. Uh, you know what? That's a fair point. Yeah, you're 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 quite right. We wouldn't get anyone if we did that. Mm. Right? We are not discriminatory. After all, we're not here as a little bit uh meh. So, no descript- I am not a little bit meh. Yeah, you're a little bit meh. Not that meh. Don't worry about it. We're gonna do this job, and people are gonna come crawling for more services. You'll see. We are that good. I look around. Yeah. I like that one's confidence. Alright. So that's a yes then. Yeah? Yeah? Yay? Yay? Nom nom. <laughs> Natsu, as you look around, you notice that there is a large bird person about a foot from you, eyeing you, inspecting you very closely. I hope you're trying to offer me a pastry. It tilts its head. I don't speak bird. Uh... Real quick, how tall is um, Kotozawa? Kotowasa? That's a good question, Ark. How, oh. how tall is your character? I know uh, we, we gotta get used to the new names again. Not <laughs> so, no, no, I just didn't. I didn't make the connection. Um, <laughs> somewhat, relatively short. I, I would say not like a, a little shorter, probably than the average adult human male but just by a few inches what is the average like five okay wait we kind of have to get into, uh, are we talking like human human or like humanoid human 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 i mean he's taller than dwarfs uh you're four but... foot six i'm what <laughs> well, yeah. you're what i'm kidding uh i think i put him down as five the, foot the seven, thing is four but... foot six is exactly taller than me <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why i was thinking that <laughs> but yeah about five foot seven. Oh, perfect uh i'm gonna turn into a copy of you i want to annoy you walk when you do yeah. that the bird uh the bird jumps back sort of flares its wings and it almost seems to smile you you could swear, even though it very clearly has a beak instead of a mouth, you swear that it's smiling with delight. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna mirror it just to see, just to play with the bird. We're gonna move towards Takeda and Charky and just watching this display or asking them. <laughs> so out of curiosity, have you ever seen a Tengu mating ritual before? No. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Tengu says, "You are not far, right? Not you are not far off." <laughs> oh, oh, good God. What happens if a Kitsune sleeps with a with a yokai? Can it drain a yokai soul? Huh? Let's not ask this question. This is disturbing. No, nope, it, it's been asked. I'm adding that to my notes to think about later. Because <laughs> that may or may not come up in the future somehow. Uh, so <laughs> Tories or the Yukionas. Good Christ. This fucking group. I love this already. Right then, uh, <clears throat> so now you are all officially members of the B&J Adventuring Company. Remember the slogan. We make your problems our problems. It, it's a selling point. Can we get a different name? It doesn't yeah. roll off the tongue. 
But you can call yourselves oh. whatever the hell you want, frankly. I mean, you're still working for us, so you're still attached to the B&J Adventuring Company. You make your, we make your problems our problems. I mean, if you call it the the, the B&J Company, you're going to attract some public, but maybe not the ones you're looking for. Well, there is a kitsune here, so maybe the type of company you are looking for. <laughs> Oh god damn. John, that's why I've been getting them damn male prostitutes. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah. Uh uh. Yeah, you might want to rethink that name. God damn, oh god, scratch off the plaques and the boards and the signs now. Oh god, we gotta go back and change all the fuck. How many have you done? Just watch them both slowly kinda look down. You think more than you know. Anyway, uh, right, uh, John, uh, bring bring out the contract. You know the contract. What contract? The, I mean, what con? The contract. We don't have contracts. We don't. No, we don't have contracts. You... Oh, you're the you procure shoes by contract. That's a one way to do it, I guess. Well, I thought we did. Apparently, we don't have contracts, though. God damn. Okay. Like, we will have a contract ready at some point. But for now, welcome to the... I almost said it again. The J&B Adventuring Company. Making <laughs> your problems all problems. And your first task is to... They're going to investigate the disappearance. Right, you're going to investigate disappearances on the coastline. Right. The, the future of this company looks bright. Don't you guys think? Yeah. Why is it like this? This is what would happen. Put copies of Barney Fife in the room with each other. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before this gets even more insane than it's already gotten. Yes. <laughs> dear sweet lord. <laughs> Tengu mating ritual, everybody. Tengu mating ritual. God, fuck. I had that. I uh, when you said I that, I heard it. In, you all. I heard it in Strife's voice for some I reason. I know you did. God, I know I'm, you did. Fucking prick. I am. I am very good at Tengu mating ritual. Tengu. <laughs> I roll seduction on the Tengu. My God. Anyway, they do direct you to the coastline. It's honestly not that far of a jaunt. Barely even a mile at most. Literally just on the coastline. South of Shingen. And honestly, you're not even sure what the hell you're expecting to see. But I can tell you what you weren't expecting to see that you do find. As you get Hold on. Hmm? I forgot. We have, and this is going to last a long time. So I'm going to do a few things. Uh, I'm going to cast Mage Armor. Because I always forgot. Recall. And yeah, you see uh, around his body, a spectral icy armor is going to appear, almost mimicking uh, a samurai armor. And also, I'm going to spend holy fuck, five um, sorcery points out of the gate to make a shield around myself. Clockwork soul. Hmm. You rarely see that. It's uh, quite weird. And just because, I wow! Uh, make a, yeah, I have five d8 I can use when I take damage to reduce it. Wow! Also, the armor kind of looks like so. And here um, I was almost worried for a moment. Actually, now I'm still a little worried. This is gonna be fun. That's basically the character. Your art really has gotten so much better. I said the same thing. <laughs> I'm proud of this one. Mm. I can see why. Anyway, back to the plot. As you near the coastline, taking the path as directed, honestly, again, not sure what you're expecting to find. You do find, of all things, craters. Varying in sizes. As you get closer and closer to the shoreline. Oh, good. At least it's not a Kagewani. I was expecting that it might have been one of those. You also see a very transparent and translucent greenish smoke rising from the craters. I don't trust it. 
That said, figuring that this is probably a very clear-cut sign of things running amok, then someone, by all means, and I know everyone's going to hate me for this, roll me a quick survival check. Uh-oh. You said someone or everybody? Ah, uh, literally everyone can. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> ah, might as well. well. I don't think I can... I'm dead again. It makes sense that, uh, makes sense that the dead guy <laughs> wouldn't be good at survival. <laughs> dead too. I like to Google it. Not wow. wrong. Not wrong. Well, Charky, Tetsuro, okay. Kotawaza. You can almost see just how the craters are slowly concentrating and almost seeming to lead you down towards the beach of the shoreline. Fairly clear cut once you notice the pattern, and you soon find yourselves here. So, Sharky, is this something that usually happens on the coast line? I see no. nothing. No. No. Uh, Grim? Yeah, one moment. I actually got double uh, Also, have we, est have we established that as a group we know each other's names at the very least? Oh or... god, yeah. Not okay. for Kotowaza. Yeah, Kotowaza. Yeah, Kotowaza mm. would be hard. If you ask, if you ask him who he is or what his name is or anything like that, he will tell you something, but I probably wouldn't assume that that has happened yet. You just have this weird bird creature kind of stalking you. It seems to have taken a shine to Natsu. It becomes fellow bird person. It has my attention. I wish to mate with it. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! Oh, this this thing clearly understands how to play pranks on people, just like me. Yeah, but I wonder if you understand what's the nature between birds and foxes. <laughs> Probably not. That's true. <laughs> this is fair. This is very fair. Okay, I'm double checking. Wait a moment. Uh, okay, so... Do you think we're going to get ambushed or something? I think we're going to be ambushed by a large black square. Zoom out. That'll... All the way zoomed out, there's nothing. Really? There's a black square. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare even more. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah, uh, more spells. Let's go. I cast armor Agathas at third level. Explore mode, daylight mode, update when token drop. What the hell? You guys should be able to see. What is happening? Now I'm confused. Let me check. I have dark vision. And you see... Do we have control over our tokens? You... Okay, there it is. Okay. Yeah, we do. I just can't see. Uh... What <laughs> the fuck is happening? How are you getting access to your token if you if we can't see? We are I right just there. scrolled out to see if I could even touch or uh Activate my token and just scrolling across the screen. Yeah, I have control over it. I can click it, but I can't see th from it. Huh. I I think mine is even more messed up than yours. Then let me reload the game. <clears throat> uh, wait. I found your issue. One moment. Is my token not assigned to my my player nest? No, I just didn't have your token with vision for some reason. Oh. Oh, hey, I have a token. Yep, and the same thing with uh, Tetsuros. I, for some reason, what the shit? I could have sworn I fixed this. Do Kinko have dark vision? Hold on. I, I, I want to say no. That's that. Let me ask our resident Tenku escort. They have hey. low light vision, apparently. Low light vision. What? That's not really a thing in 5th edition, sadly, but... Oh, yeah, this is yeah. Forgotten Realms. Yeah. Granted, oh. they tried to implement it, but, yeah, I... Kenku... Actually, no, Kenku do get it. That's one of the reasons I got the Skulker feet, so that way I would be able to roll normally in dim light. Yeah, I think Kenku do have Dark Vision, don't they? Nice. No, they don't. Not oh, no, not Dark Vision, here. No. Yeah, oh, they, they don't. Be in low light, like, it's nothing, but in... 
or I may be thinking of a different edition. They've played, they've changed Kenku several times, but either way, I know no pure dark vision, and I had to get the skulker feet for to be able to see in dim light. Okay, so oh, who's... I have chosen badly. <clears throat> that happens. Don't worry about it. Uh, worry about so it. who can't see right now? Can you all see? I can. Um, uh, I can see my token and nothing else. I can see the shoreline. Yeah, I can see the shoreline. I can't see anything what beyond the... the shoreline. I have. If you see a shoreline, you're fine. Sharky, go home. Because I have something that's emitting fucking light in the damn lair. Why is it not emitting light? Like, I can see through someone's eyes right now. Oh, wait. Hold up. I think I know what the problem is. Let's see. So, this. actually, I would also like to do something en route if I can. Oh! I see. Okay. Uh, that, you need to move. Yeah, there was, there was an update on token drop. I thought that might have been the problem. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but what do you want to do on the way? Oh, I would like to spend two key points to cast Dark Vision. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and did we short rest or anything on the way? Probably not. We haven't done anything, right? I mean, you guys have just basically been walking. I'd say that's light activity, so yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, okay, let's prepare then. I will cast Armor of Agathas then. Third level. <laughs> Uh, uh, yep. Judging by the attack pattern, in that it's a crater with green smoke, would I be able to identify that? You can. Zero? You can certainly try. Religion, right? Religion, Arcana. Yeah, you you know the rules. Let's try a religion. Have I heard of this yokai? Does a fifteen meet your expectations? Nope. Not a clue. Well, either way, I can say for certainty this is not a. Uh, my accent keeps changing. This is not <laughs> Kagewani. You definitely so, know that for certain. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Absolutely fuckingly. Should we try to scout or just wing it? <laughs> as you yeah, say this. You want to go in. As you say this, the bird creature. Which, by the way, is wearing a monk's robe, which itself is a little weird. But the bird creature is already sort of wandering curiously down the shore. Wait, wait, wait. That's a ballsy bird. Mm hmm. Bird. Hold on, hold on. If, you, if you're gonna scout, just hold on. I'm gonna put my one hand on um, the bird's shoulder as stop moving. <laughs> it stops when you touch it. And gives uh, you kind of this quizzical look. Just hold it. I'm gonna use my uh, my innate spell casting to cast invisibility at third level, which I think cast, uh, targets two people. So me and the bird. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> now you basically see a a, a a bunch of snow starts to swirl around you and stuck onto your skin, and as it does. You become invisible and a bit cold. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, now so... you can scout and I will be here. Let's see. So, for a moment you hear nothing, then you hear a, uh, a loud flutter of feathers as something runs down the beach we're not supposed to be loud okay <laughs> uh but once it reaches about this point it is going to sort of it, it, the cave opening catches its attention and it uh quiets down again and begins slowly investigating i also say that's not the only thing that catches your attention for example there's a skull on a stick right to your immediate south. Interesting. And a little bit further. What kind of skull? Definitely humanoid. <laughs> okay. Those of you who are watching closely may see this skull sort of... Wobble. <laughs> get rotated. 
Oh god, that's unnerving. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it can see us. Friend. <laughs> oh guys, don't be shy. Come on. It's just a skull on a stick. And you know some bones to the entrance of a cave where people have been disappearing. Nothing to worry about. No, you know, I've, I've just... heard stories. What is it? I heard uh, stories about an island where they eat people and do something like that. So what do I see as I enter this cave? Well, you see a whole slew of things. Example, a crap ton of rubble and a giant pile of bones in that northern corner. I mean a giant pile of bones. I mean, I, I tell you, it's an island where they eat people. I walk forward and begin to investigate the bones. Do they look like human bones? Oh my, yes. And the number is staggering. And while you're there, can you do me a favor? Roll me a perception check. I mean, technically, you eat people too. Just this will go way. so well for our little Kotoaza friend. <laughs> so, my my dear little Kotengu, you're looking around, listening intently, because a lot of people have died in here, and even at a glance, it's not hard to tell something was gnawing on these bones. And then you hear stuff. Clicks up on the ceiling above you. You casually look up and you see possibly the culprit of what's been doing this on the ceiling. What does it look like? Horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it looks goddamn horrifying. Looking at it, it almost seems to be a mixture of. An ox and a spider. Why are you always spiders, dude? Because I'm like not? fucking with you. <laughs> oh, no, Eras, don't worry. Later on, trust me, you're going to be happy this is like what you find for your nightmare fuel. I got worse planned. Actually, do That's I... your centipede in my future. That reminds me. Do I actually have... I do have a handout for it. Yeah, you basically see this horrifying looking thing on the ceiling. You see Ah, uh, you. Ooh. It looks He's like beautiful that. in his own way. You now, I feel like I have to ask this. How quiet is everyone else being at the mouth of the cave? Not very. <laughs> We're talking <laughs> quiet here. Honestly, I'm busy wondering why everyone's following the invisible fox. I'm pretty sure this. I heard a story about this. It's just More that time. easy. <laughs> I'm so, Koto, you watch as this beast perks its head up, slowly leaning towards the mouth of its cave, hunkering down closer to the ceiling as it slowly begins to make its way in that direction. <laughs> So, are you going to be leading us further into the cave, individual kitsune that we can't see, or are we simply going to sit here? To be honest, I was I was just waiting for something to happen. This is going to be interesting, because this is going to be a sign of trust, because I'm going to roll this out in the open. Needless to say, you'll know if you actually see this thing slowly coming up on you guys or not. Uh, the Koda answer Waza, is no. Koda Waza, since you basically are just staring at it and it doesn't know you're there... Even if it rolls insanely high, you still can see it up on the ceiling. You just might lose track of it here and there. Okay. So, let me roll this in public. Survey says... Oh, fuck. Oof. That's unfortunate for a lot of you. I mean, my, my idea was to stay here and either you hear a scream from the Kenku or you hear something. Something's gonna happen. Oh, you're already going to be doing that to your new food source, huh? I'm not trying to eat the Tengu. Not Eating yoga is not that Can easy. I, does it make any kind of sound as it's moving? 
with that I can roll, sort of pick up on? With that kind of roll, I would say you can... Any shuddering or anything? If you, well, yes, but it's very, very subtle. Like, okay. honestly, a soft so, breeze almost overpowers the sound. So, do I have... Am I moving fast enough that I could get past it? Or... Oh, God, yes. Is it kind of... Okay. Yeah, it's so creeping. Kotowaza, Kotowaza is going to sort of come around this thing. And what happens is you folks at the mouth of the cave hear suddenly very close to you uh, from an invisible Kenku, but you, you don't necessarily know that. You hear this incredibly creepy chittering sound. Well, something happened. Probably immediately going to bring up my Nakinata, move back, and just point it at that direction. No like, no like. What do you have to worry about? You're a giant shark. Mm hmm? With apparently the intelligence of one. That said, now that uh, Kodawaza has kind of made a very, very easy to spot sound, you all may roll a perception check. If only to You're figure funny. out if that's Kodawaza screwing with you or if there's something <laughs> actually dangerous. <laughs> I is he screwing not... with you, or is he trying to help? That's a ghost. Survey <laughs> says. I mean, I'm gonna roll for this insight check as opposed to perception, yeah. or. Well, this would be an insight check if you're trying to identify it's Kodawaza making the sound, but at the same time, it's an alien sound. You're not entirely sure just what kind of sounds Kodawaza can mimic. Fair. Yeah, you haven't uh, really heard him see. do a lot of sound mimicking uh, yet. Twelve. Oh, this is unfortunate. So something is, com is coming, right? That's what we know. Pretty safe bet. I'm gonna... How, much, how long does this last? 10 minutes? That's... I'm gonna cast on myself... <laughs> fire Shield. As a, cold, a warm shield. Basically, I have resistance to fire and I do cold damage if I get hit. And just to make it fun, I will do it as a... Hold on, Metamagic. So this is uh, what you meant when you said that you were going to piss Grim off. I'm, I'm not done, but yeah. I'm going to make it last 20 minutes instead, instead, just in case. Hmm. So I'm no longer invisible. Kodawaza, if you like, you can roll me another perception check, as you did lose track of it trying to warn your friends of this yeah. thing's presence. You will have advantage on this roll because you at least know what you're looking for. Okay. Still, I don't... I would have to be really lucky to see it again, I think. Oh, hey! I was really lucky! Lucky enough, though? No. Actually, yes. Oh, he has advantage. Yeah, because Kodawaza knows what they're looking for. And good thing, too, because, uh... It got closer. <sighs> Wait a second. Did I not? Um, bird friend, um, I kind of want to drop my concentration. Do you still need me to make you invisible? Does thing know any no languages? Response. Can I abuse that? Nope, doesn't know any languages. <laughs> You're lucky. No response. Hey, uh, Grim, I have a question. Yeah. I don't speak bird. Is that a jettison or no? <laughs> I'd say to the party. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Nova. What can I make? Anything you want. I mean, not yeah. everything, but anything you're proficient with, at least. Oh, Do you have the, the invocation? No, he doesn't have the... Uh... Wait, he In might. Because hmm? I know what he bases sheet on, but I'm not sure if that was part of it or not. It's something I would have included. Uh, Let's see here. Nope, doesn't have that. So, pretty sure it's just. Do you guys want to say something interesting? Yes. 
I say to the party. Uh, okay, the bird didn't say something. I'm gonna cast another spell. I cast stone skin on myself. <laughs> uh, and I make it last two hours. Diamond dust worth 100 gold. That's a waste of a diamond. A little bit. Do you have diamond dust worth 100 gold? Uh, I forgot about this part of the spell. I don't. I don't cast it. That's fine. I need to get this. See, the thing is, technically, I can make him diamond dust worth 100 gold, I think. This is true. Also, Kotawaza, you're watching as this thing is slowly crawling up on the ceiling just above your friends. So what exactly do you think that we should be preparing? So you, uh, Natsu, you feel... Wait, can I see Natsu? Yes, you can see yeah, Natsu. Yeah, you can see me. Okay, okay. So Natsu, you feel something tugging at your sleeve, tugging you away from the spot where you're standing, south towards the cavern wall. Awesome. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, charade is not fun when you cannot see what's doing the mimic. So how long are we going to wait by the mouth There's of the cavern? There's a pause, a long pause, and then you see an image form in front of in front of you on the cave floor. It is a hideous ox slash spider looking thing, some kind of oni. And it is a perfect little miniature about three inch tall version of what is currently on the ceiling. Do you also make it appear upside down? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, two things. If I see that, uh, thing, can I tell what it is if I make a check? I'd say you have advantage on it, but it's a pretty high check. Let's go. Nope. Um. Oh. Uh, Religion. Oh, now but, it triggers. <laughs> but if you make it upside down, I'm like, huh. And I look up. Yeah, you see it. And it's staring at Charky. It looks like it's getting ready to pounce him. Nope, nope. I. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack it if I can. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Jesus Christ, I was like, oh, don't actually let me get a surprise round off on somebody. That would be horrifying. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> this thing is deadly enough without the help. All right, roll an attack of some what kind. Do you... oh. It's not really prepared for you because it's trying to eyeball who looks like the tastier meal at the moment. And frankly, you're a kid soon. You don't look that tasty, Dylan. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Let's, um... Okay, this is real quick, so let's just do a fucking real floss for us. Huzzah! Hey, that's good. I'll be damned. That hits. She just, she just yes, he just reaches, reaches up and, and from his hand just freezes and throws it. Ray of Frost at the ceiling. So everyone watches. As your dead, dear Kitsune friend is looking at this little glowing miniature of a strange creature upside down. Casually, his eyes drift upwards. He sees what it's mimicking and immediately blasts it with a ray of frost. And it just gives a very strange pain sound to that. That's disturbing as fuck. Everyone immediately notices the damn thing, and that is initiative. The cow spider thing hey. says, Moo. Hey. No shit. That was a nat one, and he rolled an 18, dear god. What? Oh, advantage. I'm about to say, wait, uh -huh. what? <laughs> Hold on, who broke this? <laughs> Okay, well, top of the order. Charky, this thing's about 20 feet on the damn ceiling above you. It's ugly, oh. it looks hungry, and it looks pissed. And a little frostbitten. I don't know how I'm going to hit this thing. Actually, I might be able to actually hit this thing. 
jump. <laughs> I mean, how tall are you? Uh, let me go back to my sheet for a second because I haven't I haven't looked at the sheet in a while. Yeah, how tall okay. is this cavern? Oh, sorry. The entrance itself oh, about twenty ish feet. So this thing is just shy of seven feet tall if it's standing up. Okay. Oh, so it might actually be within reach for those on the floor. It would be very close depending on how tall the character is or if they have a weapon with reach or something along those lines. Okay. I, think I, I, think I, I think we said something around like eight foot something. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you could probably just... Yeah, you could just hit the damn thing. Yeah. Squash. Swing, bro. It's bonking time. Do you rage first? <laughs> Yes. Okay, bonus action rage. Wanted to make sure that fucking hurts a lot. Time to put music on. Well, it kind of hurts. I believe you also have a second attack if you would like. Currently seeing. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, yes. I must say you're a barbarian and uh... you're level 8. You should have a second attack. Uh, I think I'm going to Reckless, if that's good with that, if I can do that. Eh, normally you have to declare that before the first attack. Okay, okay. I was, Didn't need it. I was fucking worried. Why was I worried? You should have let the, st sneak, the, the, the sneak round hit. You should have let it go. I bonked them twice. I will explain why that would be a terrible idea in a moment. <laughs> or at least after the session. All right. And now I'm back up. <laughs> you are very lucky. Okay. That is my turn. All righty. You back up a little bit. It's eyeballing you now. After you just look up, see the damn thing, and immediately kind of like... A mother would, with a broom, try to swap the spider off the ceiling. <laughs> Lord almighty. Tetsuro, there is a horrifying yokai. You're not even sure you can pinpoint what the fuck it even is. About that, I believe uh, Kodawaza would go first, because I have an 8 in my decks. Kodawaza definitely has higher. That's so. a good point. That is valid. I, why does it not? Why does mine not show uh, up in the? Because I you didn't have to manually set it up. Yeah, I didn't manually set your sheet to text die, tiebreaker. That's all right though. I could just move the turn order around. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. So Grim, would you say that the the floor that I'm on is kind of the cavern floor is kind of shadowy or dim light? Yes. And would you say that the ceiling that this spider ox is walking on is kind of shadowy or dim light? Yes. So here's how this is going to go. <laughs> oh, and I <laughs> So, actually, technically I'm invisible, so I guess... Uh, wait, am I still invisible? Yes, you are still invisible because Eratz was but unable to cast that spell because he did not have the material component. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'll book your so I am, never mind. Uh, so I'm still invisible, so none of you see this, but I'm going to step into the shadow on the ground. I'm going to step out of the shadow next to the spider ox, and I am going to uh, attack its legs. Okay. So, as though I'm trying to sort of knock it off of the ceiling. And I believe... So I believe that's two attacks, and then if I want to, I can spend a key point to do Flurry of Blows. So let's start with two attacks. Indeed. And that first attack will have advantage, because, uh, I mean, there's no predicting what the fuck this is happening right now. Okay, so that's a 20 and a 14. All right. The 14, this, sadly, is a miss. That said, that first one does hit. Okay, so that's four, four bludgeoning damage. And actually... Also, kind of an important I'm, question. Do your unarmed strikes count as magical at this point? I think they do. Uh, at level six, they do. Okay, you're good then. 
Just make sure. I don't see it in my list. It's called Key Field Strikes, I believe. Oh, Key Field Attack? Yes. No, that's different. That's yeah. if you spend one key point or more as part of your action on your turn, you can make one attack with an unarmed strike or monk weapon as a bonus. Key, key empowered strikes. That's right. Key what? empowered strikes. Is what I was thinking. Oh, oh, got it, got it. You're right. I do have it. Um, okay, so uh, I am also going to attempt to make that a stunning strike. Okay, that actually might oh, work. Boy. Oh Jesus! Uh, wisdom saving throw. If I'm right. Uh, what? yes. A constitution saving throw. Okay, damn, I was hoping it was wisdom. Because this thing is actually pretty hardy. Let's see, though. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Ooh, what's mm. your uh, DC is the question. Unlikely. It is a... Uh, gosh darn it, gosh darn it. <laughs> New character, who this? Uh, Hold on. Yeah, let me... You're show, great, don't worry. Yeah, let me show you a quick version. Where is it? Here, go to spells and just select wisdom. Uh, gotcha. It's you're, a 14. Yeah, 14. So it just passes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to spend another key point to do Flurry of Blows. Okay. So as I'm falling down back towards the cavern floor, uh, I take two more swipes at now the thing's, uh, the thing's body. I punch it in the butt. That's a 20 and an 18. Both hit. Okay, that's a six and a six. That's nice. not bad, actually. You want to try Stunning Strike him again? Ooh, yes, yes. I definitely do want to do that, actually. Mm. So one more Stunning Strike attempt. Okay. Uh, let me double check the wording on this, because I, I swear this. No, if you hit it, you can just do it. So if you like, you can do it on both of them. Yeah, well, let me try it for the first one first. Passed. Yeah, let me try it for the second one as well. Also a pass. My apologies. <laughs> okay. So, vie. So no one really sees you basically teleport up onto the cavern ceiling proper, but they definitely see as you waylay into this thing in a flurry of quick strikes at this thing's body and legs, missing once, trying to hit a nerve, sadly failing, falling to the ground... I shit. Did they get reduced fall damage already, Eretz? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, so yeah, you just literally kind of flutter to the ground harmlessly. Uh, your monk level. So yeah, yeah, no fall damage. Yeah, no fall. It's a reaction, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But you flutter to the ground harmlessly. This thing is pissed and not happy about the fact that you just got basically. I almost said something insanely dirty. I'm going to say you punched it in the butt. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I uh, and after that happens, uh, Kotowaza... So I guess I would probably be like here. Uh, after that happens, Kotowaza looks up at the thing for a moment, head tilted, and then darts back into the cave. It does not get an attack of opportunity on me because I am mobile and I hit it with an attack. God fucking damn it. Okay. <laughs> Angry oxen yokai spider noises ensue. And thus ends my turn. That's pretty good. You guys already got this thing down to half health. Okay. That's it. It hasn't taken its turn yet and it's going to hurt. Alright, I'm gonna do... Okay, let's see if this will work. I'm going to pretty much plant the Naginata in the ground beside me as I bring my hands forward, seeing this creature collapse before me, and just in tone, Just as fire diminishes under the gasp of wind, so too shall your spirits diminish before our might. And pretty much... After a few ritualistic motions, he will slam his palm into the head of the Oni, and as he pulls away, a Ofuda uh, paper seal talisman just um, manifests on its head as I cast Bestow Curse. Oh, uh, that's a new one. Wisdom saving throw. Alrighty. DC 50. That is terrible at... Let's find out how terrible. Okay. Nice. I'll just 
say fuck you, I guess. I'm sorry, more. <laughs> okay. So, as I pull my hand away, it probably just struggles, causing the Ofuga to dissipate uh, before I can complete the ritual. You've got to be kidding me. And with that, I don't have anything else that I can do. So, go move. Alrighty. Natsu. Uh, I'm gonna look at the thing, and when he look at me, uh, you see Natsu's tail is gonna start moving in like a sort of hypnotic pattern, not the spell, but the action. And you need to make me a <laughs> intelligent saving throw then for Tasha's mind whip. Ooh, fails. Okay. Mm. Until the end of his next turn, cannot take reaction, and on its turn can only take movement, action, or bonus action. Only one of those. More, you're right. I should have just surprised around you all. Right? Ah. <laughs> uh, anyways, how are we doing? Making me regret going easy. That's how you're doing. Never go easy. Yep. Learn That's that lesson I again. But this is a slightly different group, so I wanted to be kind. That said, ours are bite-sized. Yes, we come conveniently packed in a size. Fuck you. <laughs> the worst part is, is that you're in range. So, my my dear Tetsuro, does twenty-one hit? Bring it. Yeah, you that take hits. thirty-six bludgeoning Ooh. damage. Is that magical? Are you serious? Yeah, I figured it would be, but have to ask. No, it's not. I'm just curious why you're asking. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you got the... I forgot Heavy Armor Master. Granted, it's only by three, but yeah, that will take me down 33 hit points. Oof. Ouch. Can we take a moment to appreciate its mill options right here? It's got bite-sized, shark, and dry-aged. <laughs> It's got seafood, jerky, and bite size. I love it. Uh, hey, <laughs> speaking of seafood, hey, Charky, how you doing? Bring it. How you feeling? Bring it. You feeling good? Are you feeling good? Because that's 26 to hit. Are you feeling good? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Okay. You are restrained, by the way. Come to me. Hmm. <laughs> You take five piercing damage after the reduction because you are raging and you are grappled and restrained, my dear lad. Hmm. The good news is that is the end of its turn. Oh, I was forgetting something, but that's all right. You kind of caught it in a moment it was not prepared for. We'll do that next time. Takeda, you're up. The gate is going to look at it, step back a bit, and I don't know if I'm going to do this right. Oh, wait, hold up. Tasha's mind whip. Hold up. Oh. I might fuck yeah, this on up. Only one action. No bonus only action. Only one action, no bonus action. Am I saved? I'm trying to think. Is it... Is it's it... your monster. I was about to say, does it say one attack? No, does... just one action. It can be many attacks. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought. All right. Let's make sure I didn't fuck that up. That's it. I can't hit yeah, Takeda. This that, is not the slow spell. That's it. Takeda does hit it. Jesus. All right. And? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I want to pull out of the cave. <laughs> oh, Lord. No save. Yeah. Dang. Yep, yeah, no save. Nine damage. Force damage. Can I say the thing? How far is it? Ten feet. That'll oh. be on me. Yeah, you literally yoink it off the ceiling. It falls on top of your dear dwarven friend. Uh, is it d6 per ten feet, or is it five feet? I always forget this. I think ten, ten feet. d6, ten feet? Okay. Yeah. And it's falling on top of Tetsuro, so, okay. Tetsuro, you take three because of bullshit and <laughs> heavy armor master. This thing takes the full six as it lands on top of you. I fucking hit today. <laughs> also, I gotta double check another thing I was gonna tell myself I was gonna check. Survey says... Oh no. 
I also need Tetsuro and Sharky here to make me a constitution saving throw. Is this a poison effect? It is, in fact, a poison effect. I have I advantage. I don't like how after me in the turn order it just says bad things. 18. Okay. You both pass. And take no damage as this thing, as it's slowly getting wounded, you watch as the wounds open up and a noxious green fume starts rising from it. I don't like that. that why is it bad, bad, bad things on the initiative? So, don't worry, don't worry about, about it. it. <laughs> Actually, hold up. I'm sorry. Takeda, I believe you still have some more Eldritch Blast you can fire off because you're level 8. I think you get at least one more. If you'd like mm -hmm. to shoot it again. Yes. Or not. That is sadly a miss, my lad. Mm. Or a good thing that's a miss, seeing as how this thing's bleeding noxious fumes now. It's now the bad thing's turn, so... Hey, Erat, more. Remember how I talked about mechanics and how I was going to introduce them? Yeah. Their action? Their actions. Ah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I actually had to go through the layer actions because I was not prepared, frankly. We don't use layer actions enough. Really don't. There are two of us still is. in the lair. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. So you watch as Takeda fires an almost spectral rope dart at this thing, yoinks it off the ceiling on top of the dwarf, tries to go for another one, goes wide. This Ushi Ona, pissed, mooing in a guttural <laughs> growl, immediately pierces the earth with its legs and hey natsu yes does 26 hit you it does wow so, now there's a thing i'm not done hold yet. on hold on hold on hold on uh, would you consider this a melee attack it is technically a melee attack yes okay two things he takes uh 15 plus 12 cold damage. Woo. So 27. Also, I want to use my my ward to reduce it by 2d8. Go for it. Okay, so I take uh, blah, 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 seven? seven? Seven. Yeah, I take seven. And to add to this, the good news is, Charky, my boy, you are no longer restrained. That's the good news. The bad news is, you watch as this thing melds into the earth and hello natsu hi natsu you watch as this thing disappears from one spot burrowing into the earth seemingly pops up right in front of you after its legs had just popped from the ground before you and it is staring menacing at you as it has you in its grasp you are regretfully restrained at the moment that's fine and that's the end of the lair action <laughs> it's not like you're gonna miss me <laughs> True. <laughs> Charky, oh, my dear boy. Do you charge the spider thing? Yes. 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 I charge it and probably hit it. Because angry shark. Would you like to reckless and have advantage on your attacks? Yes, yes, I would like to do the reckless. All right, you reckless and have advantage on attacks. Good thing, too. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, and you do hit both times. Nice. So, Bad cow. There's 14 and a 12. Did you see a bad cop at it? Bad cow. This thing is not looking good. Alrighty. So what did we learn today, Grim? Kill your players and don't hold back. Yes. Yes. And then back up. Fair. Kodawaza, you are up. This thing has your geared So this thing friend. is this thing has not to grappled? Yeah, it has it in its claws and looks like it's gonna try to literally gnaw him on his face. Not so it's surprisingly calm. That so Kotoaza doesn't 
doesn't look particularly happy about that. I mean, the fact that it's nomming on Natsu, not the fact that Natsu's calm. Um, uh, he's going to uh, furrow his brow, let out a l- loud moo, <laughs> and uh, charge the thing with another attack. Go for it. And okay, that's not going to hit. I think. Nope, that is a fourteen. That misses. Uh, that's that's 25. a twenty-five. Twenty-five will hit. That will, in fact, hit. Ow. Eight. And uh, I again am going to attempt a stunning strike. Alrighty. Nope. No. <laughs> it can. Fit. Well, that's the good news. And when it does, it's going to have a bad day. It's already having a bad day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, I am... I... Darn it, darn it, darn it. I'm sorry, guys. I Somewhere in here, I thought I had a feat which allowed me to do a bonus action attack. But I Larry think blows. I must have imagined that. Um, well, no. No, monks, that's something. Monks that's also can different. just uh, unarmed attack as a bonus action. I have to take the attack action yeah. as well. It's yeah. martial arts, I think. Yeah. Martial arts. Yes, that that is correct. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to attack one more time. Alrighty. That okay. hits. And that's. I'm also going to t- attempt to stunning strike that. Alrighty. Survey says. Clicked it. I know I clicked it. There it is. 20. No such luck. Okay. Way too hardy. So, Kotowaza. So, the, the bird sort of slinks off to this side of the creature. And it it's sort of weird. It, it looks almost like a prize fighter or like a boxer. It, it looks like it's preparing to, uh, preparing to spar with this thing even though it doesn't seem to be focused on the bird. Uh, That is the end of my turn. Alrighty. Also, how many times did you hit this thing? Two. Also, Charky hit it too. I keep forgetting because I'm not used to... Oh, right. We're supposed to roll a con save. This is new to me too, fun fact. It's one of the reasons I wanted to do this encounter. Uh, Two con saves. Go ahead, more. Just so we're um, able to assist you with this, how much health does it have to lose for us to m- need to make a con save? I'm glad you asked. You just have to hit it. Okay, so every time it gets hit. So would oh, okay. um, not to... Or not not to. Yeah, what not the to. fuck? That's nasty. Yeah, Natsu also has to make a... Uh... I think you guys have yeah, to thank you. I'm, re- I'm referring to before when his armor of Agathus procced when the Ushioni was next to me and Charki. You're right. Oh. Alright. So Eesh. let me roll a con for before then. I failed that. I failed two of those. Wait, hmm. why did you make three? Because it got hit, hit three, three times. times. Yeah, you hit it three times. No, I wait, hit it wait. twice. Well, Sharky also hit it once. But Sharky also hit it. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I, I need to make a third. Sorry, mm. sorry. Actually, I think it's four. Okay, so I failed three. So this is going to be fun. This is bad. Okay. Let's just make this easy since I keep forgetting it. I'm only going to do this three times since those are the attacks I do yeah. out remember. So... Here's the first one for those that made the con- first con save. If you made it, you don't take that. Okay. If you failed, you take 20 poison damage. Ouch. I'm um, gonna eat. Hold on. I, I think I can do something. That. Okay. Call Fire Lightning or Thunder. Oh, yeah, I cannot do much about this. Jarky, you also take this damage if you did not pass. And. Oh, 20, do I want it? Uh, well, it's a DC 15. Uh, well, you rolled one constitution for the most recent hit, but did you roll one for the one before that Grim didn't call no, us No, I did not roll for that. I'll do that right now. 
Okay, group. you would have been fine. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so that was the first one. Here's the second. Hmm. I'm gonna use my my word to the 3d8. Fuck it. No shame in that. All right. Nice. That wow. <laughs> Okay, I can see what you're talking about now with your character. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, and... that... 23, 20, 40, 43 damage. <laughs> I think I'm going down, guys. Yeah, because there's one more left. Wait, one more? What do you mean one more? They got yeah. hit three times. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, Charky and Kodawazu, <laughs> between two of them, hit him three times. I take... um. 43 minus 19 minus 19 minus 8 okay take 16 damage all right i'm good now i remember why i like this thing it's nasty when you touch it it just took me a minute to remember it does things mm. so Kotawaza literally goes down in attacking this thing. Unfortunate. The good news is that it's at the end of your turn, so no death saves as of yet. And good news, your cleric is next. That leaves also a forge cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... I'm a little... aggravated at the fact that I just got bulldozed by a giant spider ox. So, immediately probably gonna come up just... Real nice! Just... Screw the dwarf, I get. I, I keep changing my accents. Screw the dwarf, I guess, right? You dumb agony. Fine. And he'll just get up and taking a look at the Yushioni, where it is, as well as... Down. <sighs> he'll probably just clap his hands and... cast Sacred Flame as he says. Earth channels wind, empowering its strikes, as it strikes towards your spirits. And let's go with the sacred flame. Alrighty. Cooperate. Co 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 really? Trust me, if he's doing what I think he's doing, you're gonna be fine. Okay. I expect you to survive, Kodawa. There we go, finally. So, do a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Okay. So, it takes 15 radiant, and I did pump my blessed strikes into that, which I can do once every turn. So, I'm going to let you retract that as it decides to just okay, pass this instead. Okay, save I passed. I'm good. Okay, it chooses to pass. Never mind, you guys don't need to make a roll because it chose to succeed. Legendary resistances are a oh. bitch. Indeed. Which is really good oh. for you guys. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't have mattered because you all would have passed anyway. <laughs> yeah, the one the one con save I pass. But as the ball of energy just surges towards it and the Yushiona roars, just causing the energy to dissipate. Everything, everyone's got something against the dwarf. <laughs> Ow. I'm wondering if I should use my healing word on co uh, on you now. Um. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I mean, you're gonna go down regardless. I want everyone regardless. else hits him with attacks, and More? I'm inside the poison radius. You should. With I, a con save yeah. of plus one. I, I would just saying. Yeah, I know. You, I'm, you asked for more deadly. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm just wondering at my other options, but Healing Word is definitely the best right now. And seeing that the first talisman, uh, that the Ball of Energy failed, he'll just whip a hand to the side, a, another Ofuda just appearing as he uh, throws it towards um, Kotozawa on the floor, causing it to stick straight onto your being. Alright, Tengu. I know that your kind have better sp have more spirit than that. Get your get back up on your feet. And I'll just do first level, so that way you're on it. You don't take radiant damage. Um 
You get five hit points back. <laughs> okay, so it's five. You. Yep. Okay. The bird's eyes slowly open. <laughs> it now looks slightly less like it hit a window. <laughs> Which is probably a very good thing, because, uh, yeah, bad things definitely could have ensued. And, yeah, it could still ensue. Is that all for your turn, Tessero? I'm gonna just take a look back towards, um, uh, <laughs> God. I'm gonna take a look back towards our, um, Aragami companion and just take a step to the side. Okay. <laughs> Not to. You are restrained, regretfully, but I don't think that matters for you. <laughs> Not that much. Mm, okay, can you describe how this poison effect works? Is it like, coming from the body? Yep, every time you, you hit guys it? hit it, open a wound on it, noxious fumes rise from it within a 10-foot radius. Good to know. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Tasha's Mind Whip. I don't think this is going to make a wound. You're right. It does technically say damage, mm. but frankly, you're attacking the mind, not the body. So I allow this. It, and he fails. It's going to choose to pass instead. Does, ah, it, does it still take so, half damage? I think so. Show spell description. Blah, 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 blah. On a success half damage. Tave, half damage. Alrighty. Yeah. Still hurts, mm. but thankfully you're clever enough not to attack the body, seeing what happens when you do, and you see the bird slowly kind of blinking awake again, and don't want your dear bird friend, your your little gag buddy to die just yet. You just met them. No, the one's gonna die now is me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe you don't know. That your turn. It's action. Okay. One moment. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. That's unfortunate. Fortune. So I'm going to need Takeda, Tetsuro, and Charky to make me a con saving throw as this thing turns in your direction. It's maw opening. You see rotted, flattened teeth with bits of bone and flesh still in it. And you just watch as it expels this green, noxious fume within a 60-foot cone in your direction. And as that happens, right. since the creature is within five feet of me and it's making an attack against a target other than me, uh, I'm going to instinctively strike it with one wing. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, one moment. Because this goes off, then you attack it. You're prone, so it's at disadvantage. Correct. I was hoping that the opportunity gonna... attack happened first, but... I'm gonna use my reaction to restore balance, and you can attack without disadvantage. Oh, okay. That's interesting, and that's gonna annoy the crap out of me in the future. Uh, yes. Jesus Christ. So, for those that passed the C-17 con save, you take only half a 37. For those that failed, you take the full 37. So, Takeda, you took 37 poison damage. Out of curiosity, how does that work in conjunction with you already have resistance to poison? Basically, it has it again. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so you it take, would be... Yeah, you take a quarter. <laughs> Copy. Uh, let me think. 18... You take 9. Sharky takes 18. The Tega takes the full amount. And then the deer bird actually might very well fucking... If it hits high. So yeah. My, my deer... Uh, that definitely 22? fucking... That hits. Here goes nothing. 7. So close. Uh, stunning also, strike! 
<laughs> Sorry, what were you saying more? No, I was imagining, also, I think a constitution save might be happening. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of is, kind of yeah. is. Yeah. Okay, con save for stunning strike. Passes. Noxious okay. fumes. DC. And I think I'm probably... Huh, I You're actually fine. passed. Not too sadly failed. 3d10, poison damage. I also need Charky to make one since you're within range of this thing's horrible smelling wounds. That is sadly a failure. You take 16 poison damage. Also, I love how Nazi's still restrained. <laughs> 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 that said, thankfully, that's the end of its turn. Can't really do much else. Takeda, this thing looks like it's on death's door. Though it's kind of dangerous. Or you could just throw a dart and go with the fuck it option. And that, even at disadvantage, that fucking hits. God damn it. Roll damage. <laughs> I swear to God, if you kill this thing with a dart, I'm going to be a little upset. <laughs> this damage. thing and all of your party members. Not just one party member. Only if you fail your save. Bye. Wait a minute, that that original. Okay, let's see. It is 1d4 plus 2. Just click you the... can just click on the thing that says dart. Yeah, click on the thing that says dart in the chat window. It's weird, because I literally right. copied this from the ninja game where all this was set up this way. But... Wow. So... Also, someone left the chat. I killed someone's internet, too. Errats. <laughs> yep, it was Errats. Is he still in the game, at least? Yes, he is. All right. We'll give him a quick tick to see if he reconnects. Welcome there back. So, who's your new character going to be? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you all watch as Takeda in a moment of remembrance of the days when he still had a pulse flings a dart more akin to a kunai at this thing in true dumb ninja fashion as that's not actually how kunai worked manages to nail this thing right between its four eyes it gives another guttural moo as those toxic fumes spread out yet again the good news is it has fallen dead the bad news is Natsu, Charky, and Kodo, I need you all to make me one last con save as the thing yep. falls dead. <laughs> yep. Charky failed. Oh, Natsu you. passed. Ooh. He's That's so unfortunate. Close. I won. Ooh. That yep. Was nasty. <laughs> Somehow, Natsu is the only party member I haven't accidentally wounded. The, the bird sees the dart hit the thing, gives a smug smile, and then it turns to panic as it doesn't quite make it out of the range of the toxic fumes in time and uh, collapses down to the ground. That said, it is dead. Lair actions are no longer a thing for this thing. That's the end of Takeda's turn. Charky. Is there something you think you can do to save your dear bird friend that isn't eating them? <laughs> that was oddly specific. He's a shark man. I expect no. him to devour. Bird. I don't have friends. I have rations. They even come on two portable legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Charky is just kind of reeling from the poisonous fumes this thing was emitting. Welcome to the Pacific Ocean. Kodo, I need you to make me a death saving throw. The good news is, even if you roll the one, you're not going to die. At this point, I just want you we'll to get used... We'll see about that. I just want you guys to get used to death saving throws, because this was me forgetting things and going kind of light on you. <laughs> Pretty good. As a pass. Pretty you have one success. one success. All righty. That's it. This thing, thankfully, has fallen dead. You breathe a sigh of relief. Feel like you're gonna gag a little bit, and you notice the bird's down again. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I thought you, your kind was supposed to be hearty. 
Um, would I be able to... No, that would be a medical kit thing. I don't think I can make an, something with an herbalism kit to, to restore. Can I? Mm, nope. That's just a healer's Given kit. Given like four hours. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. But seeing as... The threat is mostly out of the way, unless Yushiona starts. Uh, Yushioni starts spouting babies. I'm going to move up, bring out a activated charcoal cloth, put, just stuffing it um, around the beak, before rolling a medicine check to uh, stabilize. Alrighty. Okay, Kodo, you feel, nice. even though you're not conscious, your breathing evens out. The noxious fumes leaving your lungs as this dwarf gives you a once-over real quick, laying a palm on your abdomen and giving a quick, firm push on your diaphragm to clear your lungs of the noxious fumes poisoning you. Fresh air seeming to be exactly what you needed. And that the combat. Yay. The bird stirs ever so slightly. I don't like going to the beach. How is that bird talking? <laughs> Better well, question. How is that bird talking in exactly Natsu's voice? <laughs> I mean, someone talking while they're unconscious is quite unusual. <laughs> but one one thing does concern me looking at the shark and the dead man you really hide behind the spellcaster that's how you fight hey. I, pet a I goat killed it one day in the merry merry month of may bringing my <laughs> pet a goat today Merry, merry month of May, in May, in May. Look alive, everyone. It's, we are hearing that? You see that. I do not see anything. I do. I about to say, someone sees this thing. If you want to come in and join the what? fun, why not? Uh, Y'all literally turn the corner. Would if you were conscious. Hearing this strange sing song in a guttural voice turd and see this massive lumbering form goat under its arm, it blinks at you, looks at the Ushiona dead, looks back at you. Sorry. Me leave. <laughs> I thought those were supposed to be up further south of the island. Or further west, I suppose. <laughs> And there's a further south thing here. Fred. I don't know if that sort of looks in and he's like, Nope. <laughs> so, should we try to look for survivors? I don't think we're going to find them, but maybe. Uh, Grim, now that I'm taking a look at this thing, would I be able to roll a religion again to see if I know anything about these creatures' habits? Sure, with advantage, since you're literally staring at it now. Religion with advantage. Let's see what I get. 20. That's what you needed. So looking this over, you can now identify it properly as an Ushioni, which, despite being called an Oni, isn't technically an Oni, despite what its name may suggest. Obviously, it's hideous, comprised of arachnid body and a bovine head. They are usually pretty notorious for barbaric behavior, lurking in the shadows to attack anything they consider even remotely edible. And strangely enough, often are heard of teaming up with other yokai to secure their prey. And as you may have witnessed, they do have this rather nasty effect where noxious gas kind of expels from their bodies. 
So they have the tendency to team up with other yokai. I apologize that put out. Yes. Which, if you guys had gone another turn with this thing, that thing would have showed up and been joining the fight. <laughs> huh. I never thought something this ugly could get companionship. Then again, I just turn and look towards um, my 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 right. <laughs> yeah, like you're willing right. to talk. Another thing, now that you can safely identify this thing as an Ushioni. Generally, when they do make a nest or a lair, its very presence tends to permeate the very land within miles of its existence. Which may, in fact, explain some of the craters with the noxious fumes. Thinking about it, might be a bit, maybe a week, but the craters will eventually kind of just stop expelling said noxious fumes and be safe for travel again. Okay. I know these are the type to pretty much eat on diet or keep people alive for as long as possible. Uh, I'm going to answer that question with uh, a feature and why I was trying really hard to say, please, please heal your bird friend, because if you don't heal your bird friend, bad things will happen. Assuming I can pull up his freaking sheet again. Or I have to refresh my roll 20 in order to do it. Ah, screw it. I have its freaking stat sheet up on this thing, too. Uh, yeah, because fun fact, this thing has an ability known as Feed on Corpses, where if it attacks a large or smaller creature that has zero hit points, the creature dies and is consumed. Okay. And it regains 4d10 hit points from the act. Ah, I see. I mean, I do have backup characters. <laughs> I almost well, recommend stable. <laughs> well, either way, if you think... Okay, I'm going to be honest. This thing doesn't leave survivors. But it... If you want to take a look around its cavern, be my guest. Though, if I might make a suggestion... Carry the bird. I think you're the one that... You're the only one it likes. Yeah, but it can, it's kind of heavy. It's a bird. Yeah, it's surprisingly <sighs> light for its size. Hollow bones. All right, I'll it's... try to um, push the bird out of the cave. Oh, what? You don't want to look around in Ushiona's lair? Onis? Not carrying someone. I suppose the next thing you're going to say is one of us needs to stay behind to watch the bird. Yes, mm -hmm. I volunteer. So where am I being pushed slash dragged to? Outside. Okay. You deposit the bird at the, at the feet of the uh, skull. <laughs> it's taped outside. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> outside enough. Ah, I mean, if someone is alive, they will be alive for one more hour, right? I mean, you're not wrong. Hold on, as I ask, uh, hold on, let me ask an expert on death. I just turn towards Sasori. Sasori, after some, when someone's near death, how long do they last for? <laughs> He's be right back about. <laughs> I just asked the dead guy about this. Uh, I, I, shoddy, I, see. I actually have something for him too when he gets back. Oh god, because I I know how he died. It wasn't pleasant. <laughs> new snoo by Kitsune. Ah uh, no, that's pleasant. So, Dova, your dwarven companion just asked you, how long do people usually last when they're on death's door? When he asks you this question, you feel a glimmer of a memory. You assume, in the last moments of your life, you see a flash of large oni and other yokai 
tearing you apart. Speaking softly in muddled words of your memory before dragging you off, and that's where the memory ends. You can safely assume, though, as long as they're not being eaten alive, you're fine. Alright. It depends. Oh, it's big. Yeah. Well, um... At the very least, how long do you think until the Tengu wakes up? You know what? Takeda, roll me a d4. Okay. Okay. Those. You, you assume two hours. About two hours. Ah, fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna cast armor or I got this again. I'm gonna go take a look. Okay. Uh, third just level. Just one moment. I'm going to have to ask all of you to stay stand back for a bit. Charky apparently um, does not understand the words in the common tongue as he stands there oblivious, staring at this thing, wondering if he could eat it. You know, they say two people dying right next to each other is just appropriate. I say it's fucking st stupid. Get the hell back. Go, go. Yes. You're being requested to step away from the Ushioni. Oh, okay. That's one moment, I gotta take my dogs out. Uh, maybe a step back further, considering what I'm going to be doing to this thing. Backing up some more. Yeah, about roughly ten feet for, for no discernible reason, you know? I'm about fifteen feet. That's yeah, fair. So, what did you guys think of this thing? Scary. <laughs> uh, it is what I describe as a nope. Annoying. <laughs> no, just nope. <laughs> I do like Grim's approach to um, tough encounters, though. Like, low hit points, but they can dish it out. I mean, low hit points. I mean, we only it only took two rounds for us to down it. Yeah, but there's five of us. And I didn't That's... go quite all out, and I kept forgetting features it had. Fair warning. Fun fact, if it managed to start off combat on its own... It'll get four attacks, not two. That would have been oh, nasty. Oh. Also, my, I gotta say, I, I am the most healthy. So I am proud about that. Very uh -huh. nice. But with... Kind of. You're the only one I didn't damage. <laughs> that, and we both know that. But anyways, as everyone stands back ten feet, what would you say is the most discernible feature of this thing or am I able to ascertain what causes it to emanate poison or is that just its physiology sorry I forgot my mic is in. Uh, probably the fact that uh, biologically when this thing eats a person it doesn't really digest it per se it kind of just rots in its stomach um in that case, I'm going to be safe and... And? I'm just wondering which part I should harvest. I mean, the head's very discernible and packable. Take a horn, you can drink Wait, out of that thing. higher head? Am I able to take... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fairly large creature, all things considered, but you have a literal walking shark, man. Alright. So, this thing, I'm going to expect one of you to be able to bring me back. 
And I just bring up the Naginata and cut the head. Okay. You lift your Naginata high, take a deep breath, hold it as you bring the blade down in a great swing. The head falls from the body. A brief green wisp exiting from the now very open neck that just seems to constantly ooze out, but only from the neck. The head itself seems fairly fine. Huh. Well, that went better than I expected. I just uh, pick up the head and just toss it to Charky. Here, catch. Ooh, nom nom. Nom nom? No. Do not eat that. <laughs> we are going to need to bring it back as proof we dealt with the issue. Nom nom. You can have the rest of it, assuming you like the taste of rotting flesh. Can I just look over at Dova and then look back at it? I mean, you can. I don't know what you're... Oh, oh wait. Oh, God. Uh... That took me a moment. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. Gross. <laughs> God. Why not? Who eats people? Oh my god. It's my... Oh god, no. It's a Trandoshan all over again. He just eats people. <laughs> uh, only he has got no chainsaw. Only no chainsaw. That said, Natsu, you want to explore the cave? Uh, yeah. Okay. Feel free to roll me a perception check and just move where the hell ever. I'll tell you what you see. You, could you roll for me? I'm not an empty computer right at the moment. Yeah, sure, I can I do, do it. Assuming my computer wants to work today. Okay, thank God it does. Investigation. You sadly rolled That's a seven. That's funny. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, just going to place right. him over here so he can see what he sees. So, my dear Natsu, you wander deeper into the cave... There's a bit of a water source in one corner. Then you egg enter into what you assume was essentially its nest, as it's just piles upon piles of bones. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before I forget, I'm going to spend the four remaining points I have into a ward. The protective ward. Just in case something bad happens. Okay. Yeah, continue. But you wander to what you can safely assume is this thing's nest, and... Possibly it's a uh, more enclosed feeding ground as they're just piles of bones some a little bit more recent You can definitely identify at least three that look like they were just freshly gnawed on Though the rest have been here for God only knows how long Nothing moving nothing moving I want to just Take a skull and walk, and walk back. You're never gonna guess what I found. What? Well, and he cut out again. I have a tendency to do that. Yep. Um. Oh, well, let me say it like this: If if I were a famous poet, I would use it to. Uh, you know, poetry, holding the skull up. Ah, poor Takeda. I thankfully didn't know you that well. I'm dead. <laughs> the other Takeda. <laughs> Takeda Shingo, oh. specifically. I guess... We sit at the beach, look at the sunset. Wait for the bird to... You know, wake up. You know, I actually, I had an idea. I'm going to need your assistance, though. Come here. Mine? Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not like I, you know, used this entire encounter as a precursor as to what you're probably going to face in the future, difficulty-wise. Why would I ever do something like that? No, I mean the fact that he said, I have an idea. <laughs> So did I. You're in it. Alright. Alright. Hold 
the bird. Don't bring him up. Just bring up the upper torso and keep his head up. All right. Yeah, sure. Torso up, head down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I just need to get something of the Yushiona yeah, or Yushione in order to make something to deal with any residual poison. I'll be right back. I get around here and I cast Healing Word on him while the um, bird is in Nazi's arms. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, six. Kodo, you take a deep breath. You feel arms encircling you. You see a familiar skull staring at you. It almost seems to be laughing at your predicament. I stick out my bird tongue at the skull. Nah. <laughs> and then I look around. You see oh, your friend. Hey yeah, you see your friends either half or damn near dead and a very dead and decapitated Ushioni, whose head is currently in the grasp of the shark man. I look up at Natsu and then in the voice of what sounds like a rather old man, actually, probably not what you were expecting from this bird thing. Uh you hear Ah oh, our little friend is back. Ah, oh, you're back. You sleep well? Had any nightmares? It tilts Would you like to see what I found? I am holding the, the skull. It tilts its head at you. I hope you're trying to offer me a pastry. <laughs> I cannot do your accent to save my life. Gosh. That's pretty good, though. I I'm not going to lie. This, the, the dialogue was good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, he looks at this call. I hope I'm not. There's a pastry for something in here. He, he uh, also looks at the skull. So Contemplates. <clears throat> and then he pulls I mean, the pastry out of his backpack and starts eating it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh... Inside there, there were a bunch of co uh, well, corpses and shit. There might be it something knows. I missed. So if you want to go ramble around and find something, I said to everybody, you're welcome to. I couldn't find anything, though. It tilts its head and stares at you for a long while. Uh, oh, then yeah. it I, dro I dropped the king. Sort of gingerly. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, falling damage reduction. So, you know, he lands on his feet. <laughs> uh, he sort of gingerly brushes himself off. And he looks towards the cave. Sort of limps and wobbles slightly as he's walking this direction. And then he very suddenly just uh vanishes into the shadow and kotoaza is going to poke around the cave and investigate a little bit more okay by all means roll me an investigation check probably mainly looking for anything shiny or yeah no this is impressive he Yay. doesn't see anything that's he doesn't see anything that's particularly eh, interesting to him. Just a lot of bones and stuff. No pastries. No pastries, no shinies. Thankfully, no more Ushionis. I feel like this Kenku would get along well with a certain hag from Barovia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he pokes through the piles of bones a bit. And then comes back to the entrance. You all find anyway. the bird returns fruitless in its endeavors to find pastries and shinies. It doesn't really report back or anything. It just starts sort of poking around the beach looking at things in the sand. Oh, look, crabs. Oh, no, wild crab. <laughs> but 
but you know, just a minor suggestion. Maybe when examining an area, we should all do that together as opposed to individually. Hungry. By the way, you're breaking off one of those horns and giving it to me later. Mm-hmm. Don't eat it. <laughs> mm. okay. I'm just gonna turn towards that story. Have you... Have you traveled with him long... Because, frankly, I'm beginning to think he doesn't even speak. Dova? Oh, I thought he said, like... He says a story. I thought he said someone else. It's <laughs> just Japan. We use the last name first. <laughs> ah. Ugh. For a short time. Very strange. Well, let's see if he speaks up if we find anything in the cave, since apparently that's what everyone's doing. Unless, of course, you two of you don't want to loot dead corpses. I would say you can't have it having... I would say that dead corpse is a bit uh, redundant, since a corpse is usually dead, but... I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, corpses are usually dead. Present party excluded, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually by now people have had more than enough of my shit. I think we're going. Uh, this is too fun. But <laughs> I see nothing. That banter aside, if um, other people come with Tetsuro, then we'll search as a group for anything. Hey, uh, Grim, am I supposed to be seeing anything in here? Yeah, dark vision. No. No. Okay. I'm walking. Completely blind. Use dancing light. Try to create some light around the cave. Where do you cast it? It's a like, a, uh, making a square like right here. All right, one quick moment. I can see. Sharky's gone off on his own path. <laughs> ah, he'll be fine. He's a giant shark. I don't think he needs us babysitting him. True. <laughs> when the lights come on, scaling the side of the cavern. Everyone just looks up and sees a fucking bird trying to scale the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for those that would like to. By all means, feel free. Just one. Just one guy that decides this. Roll an investigation check with advantage since you're now just a party investigating a cave that was a feeding ground for something big and nasty. Yes. I would let someone else do that. Not I one. have a negative one modifier for it. <laughs> okay, if no one speaks up, I'm going to then. Yeah, I don't got goods on that do one. It. I mean, you can't roll any worse than... Do I, oh, right, what? you said with advantage. With advantage. Yeah, let's take the 18. Okay, 18. All right. So... My dear Tetsuro, you start going through the piles of bones, seeing if you can find anything of note, maybe even just like a faint means of identification. Digging around, you do find a few things. 
a fishing pole, some torn, bloody clothing, little satchel here, has three copper in it. I'm literally going through my notes on this real quick because I knew I had something else in here. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, that's it. Fishing pole, purse with three copper, and some tattered clothing. Might as well take those, right? Evidence? Not much by way of evidence. Honestly, I think a skull would be better since someone could speak with the dead on it. <laughs> Sure, on look at Shark, he just has one horn stick out of his mouth. <laughs> uh. We should probably leave then. Nothing we can do here. Unless the other one Unless one of you is Unless one of you is willing to start a large fire to get rid of all the bodies. Or lack thereof, I guess. I could, but is there a reason for it? You mean other than the fact that the scent of death tends to attract beasts as well as yokai? <sighs> Alright. <laughs> you should step back. Fireball. <laughs> mm, no, I think for this, I have something better. We better not fight oh, like in this. Um. Yeah, you see Natsu's arm is going to light on fire. He's going to start dragging it around. And as he does, a giant wall of fire is going to emerge. Like so. From body to body. I think it's 60 feet. Yep. So yeah, basically in this shape to make sure I burn everything. And as you do so, you hear a cry of pain coming from the pile of corpses. If he dies, he dies. My God. No, I'm not doing that gag twice. <laughs> Good memories. <laughs> but no, with a gesture of his hand, Natsu erupts a great wall of flame within the lair proper. Ensuring, uh, ensuring that the stench of rot and decay is all but burned away as the bones quickly char. And the cave fills with smoke. And the cave fills with smoke. Quickly. You know, honestly, it's not that bad. It kind of reminds me of my forge. This is why you don't, you live so, so short lives. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> it's not how long you live, it's what you do with it. Not the years, it's the mileage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. So, do y'all return to now effectually renamed J and B? <laughs> Indeed. Though I will try to wrestle a horn from uh, from the shark. I mean, I wouldn't want to risk it, but by all means, if you want to be ballsy. Like trying no, to take no. it. Damn it, I'm allowed. <laughs> Damn it, I knew that was going to come bite me in the ass sooner or later. <laughs> Sharky, there's a dwarf trying to take away your chew toy. No! Just Mine. a horn. Mine! I probably shouldn't tell you this, but do you know what that thing looks like after about three days? Food. <laughs> no, it looks about as, as bad as you will if you don't give me that horn. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. I'm old, damn it. I give no fucks. <laughs> Snack size. Snack size. Call me that again. <laughs> oh, what is this party? But yeah, if uh, if Charky is refusing to hand over a horn, then he will mutter, go back to the uh, Yushioni and take a leg. Okay, that's easy enough. 
As the shark goes past my hiding spot, uh, I am going to try to... Well, I guess it's not pickpocketing because it's not a pocket, but I'm going to try and almost certainly fail to sneakily take the head away from it. Chucky, you notice your bird friend trying to very quietly approach you. No! Man! <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm just surprised that he can talk. Can I turn the horns on them and use it as a weapon? <laughs> do you do that? In a defensive manner, yes. I'm not going to be stabbing anybody. Ooh, okay. So, so when you make it clear that you're sort of... When you make it clear that you're sort of fighting, the Kenku ruffles its feathers and get, crouches down into this exaggerated monk stance and starts sort of stepping this way and that and fainting here and, and uh, okay, okay, this, there. This, okay. Stop it. Stop. This, let's not do this. No, I disagree. This is actually kind of interesting. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, but I kind of need that. How badly do we want this head? Uh, let me put it like this. Could you please give me that head if you were so kind? And also, draw me a wisdom saving through. Oh, you bastard. Wow. <laughs> Casting spells on the party. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, That's a failure. 15, you fail. I am your greatest friend. Turkey, you really want to... Yeah, you really want to give up your little chew toy to this kitsune for some reason. You don't know why, but it, you, you really want to give it to him. Friendly. <laughs> See, guys, just need to ask kindly. Good boy. <laughs> now shall we leave before he notices and kills me? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'd like to stay around and watch that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm joking. That was a joke. You need to work on the punchline. <laughs> well, I would, but uh, frankly, the last thing that did a punchline kind of fell on top of me. And he just looks at Sasori. Yeah, that one kind of hurt. That was an uh, unforeseen uh, consequence. My dead dude. men, not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna turn into shark fin soup I love and hate this party I don't so know why I just became Irish. Irish I will tell you shark fin soup not that good I have a feeling and I was worried about timing okay shenanigans aside y'all make yes. your way back to what was once known as the B&J adventuring company you notice as you approach though the sign has the initial scrawled out and scratched the top of it the J and B of venturing company. John and Bernard, your employers, having a brief little argument. What are you betting? Well, oh no, uh let's say fifty. Fifty? On who? Honestly, I don't expect the bird to make it back. That's my vote. Really, the bird? Uh, I mean, first I think the dwarf ain't gonna make- Oh shit, hi! Oh god, you're back! The fuck is that thing? I throw the head. There you go. Have fun. The fuck is that thing? It's the cause of the disappearances. Oh, I forgot. Also, take. I give him one of the skulls. Here. More proof. The fuck? I know. <laughs> okay. I- <laughs> What the fuck? It, what? Well, uh, good. I suddenly <laughs> like that fox more. Not enough to get in bed with him, but I like him. Well, shit, John. They, with that. they did it. And they're all alive. Yeah, I know. You know what else I know? Alive is sort of subjective. And I just thumb <laughs> towards the... <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all kind of look like shit. Sorry, I'll use um, uh, disguise cells to make myself look better. There. That, that, that is an impressive trick. Yeah, we have a question. C could you become uh, something? Oh, I don't know, 
like a uh, voluptuous and uh, you know what that's a question for later anyway um uh, wait we'll talk later we'll talk later anyway uh, <laughs> also john you owe me 50 gold what why they all came back alive I, okay, to be fair we were debating which one was going to die them all coming back alive that's null and void I, that's cheating i know um, Grim, real quick, you said they, they fixed the sign. How did they did that? Literally looks like they took a dagger or something, scratched out the initials, and just carved in J and B above it. Damn it. I, I was hoping they paint it over so I can clean it. <laughs> nah, that's all right. <laughs> right. Well then, y'all have apparently succeeded, and that that th that thing is fucking ugly my god we need we need to get rid of that somewhere anyway um right payment y'all deserve payment uh john you got that sack you had it no i don't have it you're the one that can count i can only count to nine. Oh, you're right i do have the satchel right uh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were the idiot. Uh, where the fuck? There it is. Ah, here we go. And now to you watch as one of these poor thugs hands you a fairly heavy satchel full of 500 gold pieces. Alright. Hmm. You seem responsible enough. I, give, I said to Tetro, would you like to handle the finances? I have I didn't. never I've been good with finances. Real quick, you didn't die because you owe people money or something, right? No, I got shot. Because you owe people money, right? No. Hmm. Because he was bad at his job at not being seen. I can I can see that. Bad by choice. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna uh, separate the, the money easily. Everybody takes a hundred. Yep. Uh, I now need to get some diamond dust. I'm not really used to getting hit that much. Uh. 100 gold, right? Yep, 100 gold each. Yep. Right, well, as I said, room and board for those on board with the... Uh, I almost said it again. J&B Adventuring Company, we make your problems our problem. By all means, pick a room, enjoy your stay, and... That's it, that's literally it. Uh, yeah. Got we got a tub in in one of these buildings on the left there. We, we if you want to bathe, you you kind of need. I'm I'm going to strongly recommend you bathe because frankly y'all stink, like bad. You smell like a rotting corpse. Ah, uh, where is the bathe again? I I kind of want to do that. You watch as uh. One of these two chuckle nuts literally just points into this building on the left here. All right. Where is that thing? Right, just in there, all the way to the back. Would you consider a bag of eyes a trinket, <laughs> or a <laughs> some, or a bag, a cold bag of something, something cold? Yes, I would just question if it was eyes, what they were from. Um, well, maybe Sweet not. A... I just want to conjure something cold and put it on my head. I have a fucking headache. I got hit really hard. Oh, hey, sorry. Where did these? Where did this bag of eyes come from? Oh, well, there's this, this sweet old lady, and she thought that she was buying me grapes. Oh, he said ice. Never mind, I'm dumb. Yeah, ice. I, I, I heard ice. eyes. Uh -huh. Um, if you're wondering where, where I get it that from, I can, sense. I can just press the on trinkets. No, yeah, I. Now that I know it's ice and not eyes, now I have less questions. Uh, ice. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a totally different. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. I will jump in the water, and I would like to use, um, uh, shape water to change the flow and make it like um. A bathtub, you know, like the hydro thing that on your back, the massage. Oh, the jets. Yeah, the jet streams. Ah, uh, lovely. Fan.
fantastic. Oh, right. So, uh, we're not entirely sure when we're going to get another job, fair warning. So, uh, you know, just, just hang around. Uh, we're going to spread news. We're going to spread news of this thing. Oh, God, wait. I can use the head as a showpiece. I can do that. I can just take this thing straight to Shingen. Right. I would say expect more work soon. I don't know how oh, soon. Dude, what, why is the shark looking at the head like it's going to eat? Nope. That, that, this is my head now. I need this. <laughs> I need this to make sure you get paid more. No, no. No, no. No, get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> uh, also, I would say, uh, Ark, a uh, uh, sled hand with advantage. Okay. Let's do this. That's not that good, darn it. I mean, you try to make the J look like an O, you try to make the B look like something else. Then you swear to God, you spot something shiny out of the corner of your eye, and you completely forget what the hell you were doing. <laughs> My head. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, appropriate. I like it. <laughs> no, get away from me. Get away from me. You, you go to bed. You look like you need a rest. You need a rest. Get away from me. This is my head now. I need this. What's in this uh, corner here? Now. Honestly, at a glance, it looks like a random assortment of junk. Ooh, I start sorting through the random assortment of junk. Roll me an investigation check. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen is your number. Apparently. Apparently, lucky thirteen. You find some shiny game pieces from an old set of something. You're not sure what though. I take them and begin playing a game of my own devising with myself. <laughs> Uh, Grim. Yes, I am Grim. Considering I've partaken in restoring this place before, because we're going with that, apparently, but I know, would I, would I have had the foresight to convince them of the importance of a, of a, smith, of a smithy and a forge? <laughs> I would say yes, but they would have told you they had no funds to afford such a thing after the initial shrine repair and the building of the two pseudo barracks here. That's fair. In that case, um, I'm probably going to do what I can then. I'm going to go up to the shrine and essentially pray before it as I make use of Yes, there it is. As I burn a use of channel in order to abuse Artisan's Blessing in the fragments of the Yushi Oni that I obtained into a blank of metal to be forged later. Okay. How much would you say that is to create a blank? Because I'm pretty sure with 100 gold, it's not going... Something worth no more than 100 gold, I'd say a blank would be generous. Well, no, actually, that actually adds up pretty nicely in my head, all things considered. I swear to mention they had Taka somewhere. Okay. So you would say that 100 gold to the blank? Yeah. Okay. So, utilizing all of my resources, I have something for later. I swear, they said something about sake. I'm not imagining things, right? They said it. Oh yeah, they definitely said it, and you know, if that's exactly what you're looking for, after going through all rooms again and again, you do eventually find a obsidian carafe with golden inlay sitting on this table. 
Hold on. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna take my bottle. I'm gonna take the sake out of it and put it in mine. Then I'm gonna fill it with water and use precipitation to make it taste the same. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> make it taste the same, but you're not gonna get drunk off of it. Oh, God, it's gonna piss them off in the future. I By the time they notice, I'll be gone. That's fair. So, That's who wants fair. a drink? I have some particularly good water here. Water, he says. <laughs> Someone's shooting fireworks or something outside, and it's freaking my dogs out. Very oh, good hell. water. Now I'm gonna try to take a long rest. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the journey for the shinies. Well, sadly, the only thing you find is exactly what your dear bird friend found, which is just shiny game pieces. And the only reason they're even shiny is because they're just polished stones. Can I eat it? Uh like physically, oh. biologically, yes. Will it actually do anything? Probably upset your stomach a bit. Well, then I'm gonna eat one. Everything is edible. Even I am edible. But that is called, that is cannibalism. called cannibalism. And it's quite frowned upon in most societies. <laughs> I don't think that's cannibalism. He's a yokai, you're a human. Not for help. Well, door was door. Okay, that all said. Rem, I have a question. Fuck me. Yes. Can my character go into long rest here so that he can basically just be staring at the door and make sure that no one comes in without? I mean, technically, yes. <laughs> it's going to be creepy as all hell. That's part of the point. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Also, Tetsuro, what are you doing up there at the shrine? As maybe I cut out, but essentially, I. how much time do we have left? I don't want to burn too much time uh about an hour and 20 minutes okay in that case um as he's performing this ritual folding the um yushi oni into a for all intents and purposes an ingot of metal he's praying before the shrine of i guess shrine of unity technically okay and pretty much just um saying Once again, I sit before you all at the shrine representing cooperation, coexistence. Please aid me as I seek to enforce that with the skills taught to me, both by Ame no Mahitotsu. My master and my own will guides my steps and my blades. Okay, then. Currently, that's all I've got. How did I get put in a room? And how did my hit points get? Minus 19? Okay, I don't know about the hit points. I can tell you the reason you're in the room is because I put you there. Because... <laughs> reasons. Anyway. So, Tetsuro, you say your prayer. Breathe a sigh of relief. You feel... Calm. Like the world is slowly piecing itself back together. The flow with the bows of destiny but beyond that nothing else but you do feel as though the future has something important in store i 
All right. That all said, you celebrate your victory, take a nice long rest. It does take, sadly, a few days, as John and Bernard both said, for another job to come around. If you would like to potentially go out and spend your gold, you're more than welcome to. Shingen isn't that far of a stretch from where you currently are, and it does have a shop full of all sorts of goodies that are somewhat expensive and insanely expensive. And you can find that list here. Do they have diamonds? Sadly, no. If you want to tell you, tell me you could probably get diamonds. Uh, it's too far. <laughs> I'm good. No, right. I hear that there's this settlement up in the mountains somewhere. Settlement? <laughs> No, just a joke. Um, what you mean, monastery? No, I mean uh, Inu Ryu. I uh, hear they're very welcoming. They even have a receptionist. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hi. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hey, my character from that. <laughs> yeah. Not that I you remember it. Out. But if we're... This is essentially a downtime, yeah? Yeah, just a few days. Would I have time to work on the blade? Yes. Yay. What are you trying to make specifically regarding the blade? Like, what type of blade? For this, I would probably want an Odatsi. Okay. Or actually, given how I saw it fight, what do you think would be the most appropriate thing, given it, what it was capable of? Because I see a Naginata as representing control and temperance, while an Odachi is pure strength. I mean, it certainly was a very strong creature. Actually rolling up right now just to see the damage type. Have you seen that weapon that was basically uh, made to capture people? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I did pose that. It wasn't really a weapon, per se, though. I forget its name. So do I, honestly. And I'm the one that found the images for the damn thing. Though, I would say... Hmm. Given what it could do, and what you saw of it, you can make one of two things. Either a piercing weapon of some sort, just kind of representing its arms flashing out and trying to dig into the flesh of its prey and bring them in closer for a bite, or bludgeoning, which will represent the dull, rotted teeth of its bite. Okay. You could very easily make a pole arm. So, I have either of that. Because you're just basically taking the horn and... Or whatever piece of it you did snag and making it sort of as... The business end of the weapon proper, right? The main idea, it's folded into metal. Okay, folded into metal. Yeah, you can still make, like, a pretty decent... Bladed head for that, yeah. I'm just trying to... Think you're a freaking forge cleric. Can you just do that? That literally try to create a magical weapon from just a piece of a monster. Because I know basic crafting rules wise, I know no. the rules, but with your stuff, I'm not I, as sure. I don't believe that's a forge cleric thing, but I am trying to make use of the of the of the demon blade or the yokai blade um, thing that we discussed. Ah, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. In that case, make me a smithing tools check if you'd be so kind. Your modifier for this would be wisdom. 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 
They're kind of doing this with a culmination of magic and just know-how, despite the fact you don't have a forge or anvil readily available. And he's getting out real bad. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. There it is. There's the roll. Okay. Oh, Lord Almighty. I love trying to DM when my dogs are still recovering from being sick. Poor things. Freaking scatterbrained all freaking hell. There he is. I fucking hate this internet. I don't feel too bad. Anyway, you rolled an 18. Uh, so what's the form of the weapon? Is the real question. Because quite, uh, you said that it, oh, sorry, go ahead. Because in all honesty, um, since you're just trying to take the piece of the Ushioni and make it into a blade of sorts, you can literally just make a new end for your current weapon. Oh, so I can pretty much use it to augment my Naginata as opposed to creating a new weapon. Oh yeah, handedly. Um, alright. I suppose I'll do that then, as it would be easier than having another weapon. Okay. In that case, on your Naginata, add 1d6 poison damage. And it is now considered magical. I have magic. Indeed. I'm doing this for very good reasons. Especially since Sharky kind of just has a magical weapon. The monk literally punches things like it's magic. Natsu is magic. Takeda is undead. <laughs> With magic. By the way, I've, I've been thinking, and I think I can do this. I want to take water and use shape water to freeze it. Then I can use precipitation to make the airflow kind of move in my room. And I can make air conditioning. It's fucking Some real. Just invented. It's real in Kitsune form. Oh my fucking god. Technically. I just realized. Dear god. Wow, I like to be comfortable. I mean, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I just, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, a couple days pass. Tetsuro manages to make a fine new blade head for his Naginata. Honestly, it's just kind of nice and relaxing. It's a well-paying job, given the fact that some of you have trouble finding... Jesus. Okay, I'm going to probably... That's with everything. Um, that's with everything put on it. I just wanted to see what it could do. I may regret this. Ah, don't be so certain. I can only do that once a turn. But no. <laughs> After a few days, dawn passes again. Everyone's happily resting in their rooms as the morning breaks. Takeda constantly staring dead-eyed through the doorway into the side of his barracks. And he watches as someone passes by. Takeda... You finally blink after God knows how long. I don't even want to guess how long. You see a beautiful raven-haired woman just kind of glancing about before locking eyes with you, giving you a wry little smile and a wave before she continues on. Hmm. He gets up and, uh, just kind of walks over the door and just kind of looks around the corner of it. Uh, Lordy. 
Gotta pee. Gotta pee. Oh, jeez. Gotta pee. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. 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 What happened there? I know. You, you go away. I'm, 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 you go away. Anyway, uh, hi, how are you doing? Uh, you come here often, eh? <laughs> well, I say, uh, yeah, you're quite the pretty little thing. Could you just do me a quick favor? That thing you're doing, that thing right there where you're speaking, just stop. Uh, why does everyone keep telling me fucking no? Fuck. Right, uh, my apologies. Uh, what's your business here? I'm sorry. Well, ah, that makes sense. Well, are you not an adventuring guild of sorts? Uh, right, we are B and J. I mean J and B's adventuring company. We make your problems. Shut up! Just that thing again. Will you speak? Stop it. Uh, right, my apologies. Uh, how how may we sit? One moment. Let me get my partner. Uh, John. What? Come on. It's early in the morning. Yes, it's early. Get your ass out of bed. All oh, right, fine. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna stand here and watch. This is too funny. Wait, should I be at full health? Yes. It's been okay. a few days. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh God, you again. Don't, don't. I don't have the head. Go away. Go away. I, oh, well, hello oh, there. No. How are you? I already tried that. Damn it. <laughs> fine. Yes, hello. We are J and B's adventuring company. We make. Yes, yes. He already gave me the spiel. Shut up, both of you. I heard through the grapevine that some of your employee managed to take down something rather beastly recently. Is this correct? Right, right. They took down this uh, this thing that looked like it had oxen head with uh, like glowing horn. Uh, you're speaking again. Stop. Right, I'm going to shut up now. Very good. Very good, boy. I have an important task. And regretfully, the ones I was hoping to get tasked with this are regretfully unavailable at the moment. Ergo, it falls to you to provide me with bodies, so to speak. Uh, what? I wish to hire you, you simpleton. Oh, right, right, right. I'm sorry, the way you said that was all, like, sultry and sexy and I was confused and, uh, uh, you're doing it again? Right, I'll shut up. Anyway. Good boy. Um, I'm assuming I know who that you is, You know right? who that is. Yeah. It's your sister. I, I'm not... I'm not... Sh Actually, I don't know. I haven't thought about that. She's way older than me, though. Way older. <laughs> anyway. You lot... Please tell me you're at least a hair smarter than these two. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Sharky's going up. <laughs> That's awfully mean, Lady Tinko. Is it wrong, though? She says, looking at the shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see your point. But we are capable. Yes, so I've heard. An Ushi Oni of all things. Ah, it wasn't that bad. It only, only almost killed us all, but nothing to worry. What just happened? Where did your token go? Uh, 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 I was wondering that myself. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was weird. Poof. Magic. <laughs> I apparently I did better on my stealth roll than I thought. Apparently, Jesus. <laughs> that said, Kodo, as you try to stealthy approach behind her, this will be interesting. She very casually just kind of tilts her head, and you see her smile at you out of the corner of her eye with a little wink before turning back to everyone else. The Kenku smiles. And flutters his wings. I like that one. Anyway, as said, I wish to offer a job. I do warn that it's not for the faint of heart. Honestly, that's what I was expecting from you. 
I don't think you would expect what I'm going to say next, though. As this job kind of requires some rather talented individuals venture into a catchy of all places. Is that the murder hole in the middle of the country? Maybe. At this point, you said that we're all pretty much awakened by this, right? Between John and Bernard yelling at each other? Oh god, yes, you're all awake. Okay, and would I be able to storm out right about now and catch that? Yes. I'm assuming I don't know who Tanko is, and I'm going to hope that she doesn't know who I am, as I'm just going to scoff. <laughs> you need capable. Or, you need capable, so you decided to come here? Well, as I said, I had my sights set on another group of individuals that have proven their worth ten times over. And again, regretfully, they are unavailable. Riveting. What's the pay? The pay, my dear little dwarven friend, is quite substantial. Do you need a real number? I'm going to ignore that you called me little. I'll try to ignore <laughs> that fact yes. you're a dwarf. <laughs> That's a sore spot. <laughs> Good to know. The pay, though, up front, 100. Wait, well, wait, 100 gold pieces? That's not a whole lot to go into uh, a catchy. She said a catchy, right, John? Yeah, she said a catchy. Isn't that where the dog yells are? That's where the dog yells are. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna be good. Bro. Guys, we're doing it again. I, but, wait, you showed up. You work for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dear simpletons, a hundred. A hundred platinum pieces. I'm sorry, well, that what? That does put a smile on my face. Oh, and how much is that? That's a lot. Like, how much is a lot? Like, a lot, a lot. Stop talking. Let her speak. Got it. Yes, and that's just the front payment with... Upon completion of the task... Ten times the amount. Jeez. Well, at least I know what I'm dying for now. More money. Not exactly. Care. She hasn't said what she wants. Yeah, yeah. but she said the place. Money. And the catchy. The place you literally go if you want to be a slave, dead, or both. Fun fact, in the two weeks since uh, the wonderful insurrection was quelled, no one's heard a peep out of Akechi. In fact, the most All we've right. heard about it is the fact that nothing's been happening from Akechi. Uh, okay. Well, in this case, I think you're lucky we're not that smart. So let's hear it. What's the job? I recently had a rather fun little vacation in Akechi myself. Just curious about things here and there, about how things were beneath the mountain. And I found myself in the company of a young lord who asked if I could possibly find him some assistance in a troubling issue in his lands. A young lord in the kitchen. Okay, this is interesting. He is the one that's upfronting your pay. In fact, I do believe, as I said up front, and you watch as she kind of reaches into her kimono, almost suggestively, in fact, and pulls out a very heavy fucking purse and just tosses it at John, who immediately opens it and just stares into it. Holy fuck, that's really shiny. That's like really, really shiny in that. John, help, I can't look away. But I'll put it down. I can't look away. But I'll put it down. I can't look away. <laughs> it's so shiny. But he's fucking useless. Fantastic. Um, 
So, uh, right, young lord, Akechi, needing assistance, um, 100 platinum payment, 10 times more upon completion. Um, slowly Bernard turns to the rest of the party. I swear to God, if any of you say no, I will have somebody to kill you. No. Are you, at, are you at least going to write a contract this time? A thousand platinum pieces upon completion. You damn right, I'm gonna write me a fucking contract. Was it the one that could read, or the one that couldn't read that said that? All you know is that one can count and one can read. You're not sure which one's which because they both <laughs> sound the fucking same and look the same. <laughs> That's fair. Ah, uh, don't worry. I, I I wouldn't dare say no to her, so that's fine. Friend of yours? Mm, I wouldn't say friend, but yeah. Think of us as mutual acquaintances. And you still have your soul after being with him. That's impressive. I think it's more apt to say he still has his soul after being with me. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> as you should. As you should. So, um, once again, what are we supposed to do exactly? Find this young lore, as I'm assuming? Oh, yes. It's as simple as just walking right in. You will be met with a messenger of the Lord of Akechi promptly upon your arrival. This I promise. I'm curious, how is Akechi doing with the new order of things? They have their own issues at hand. Hmm. Well, I'm sold. I always wanted. I always wanted to see the the most disgusting play in this land. Why not? Honestly, it's actually quite charming once you get over. Well, getting in. It's quite beautiful, actually. In the right places. How do you get in? Do you just walk in? Well, how else would one get anywhere other than just walking right in? I don't know. Jumping? i never been to the place. I, know, I just know it's like a hole. When you say that, she actually gives a little giggle. Doesn't say anything. Oh, I don't like that. Anyway, that is the task at hand. And upon completion, to the Lord's satisfaction, you will be paid by him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've been away for a little too long from my cohorts. I do have a nice day. And it is nice to see you again, Natsu. I do hope to see you again. It's always a pleasure. Always. I swear she's gonna kill me one of these days. And with that, she wanders off. John and Bernard kind of just blink at her absence. You know, when we started this business, uh, out of the weird things I have seen in the last, oh, I don't know, month? That was probably one of the weirder ones. I'm going to use precipitation to summon a horseshoe in my hand. That's not funny. You don't say. That's not fucking funny. <laughs> you put that the fuck away right now. I I'm curious though, was it this way or this way he's rotating the, the horseshoe? Stop that. Because one is much worse than the other. Stop that. <laughs> Who's shining? You speak from experience. I've been told. Also, in regards to being the death of you, that woman, wish you had opened with the fact that she was like you before I started assuming her to be as annoying as my ex. She's not like me. She's way older than me. And way worse. Yeah. So what you're saying is don't call her bitch to her face. 
I wouldn't call her that as her back. You know... Tetsuro, roll me an insight check real quick. You never know when she might be listening. I'm old, or, damn it. I'm allowed. Or, you know... I need to what? stop. I hate you. <laughs> I'm using the line too much. I need to stop. <laughs> At saying some of the things you're saying, you feel a brief moment of existential dread. And almost habitually... Instinctively, even, you kind of turn around real quick to make sure that that lady is no longer within eyesight. You can just barely make her out in the distance. But you do meet her eyes, and she is smiling at you. You know what? You want to know something funny? Uh, if you ever see a fox, she probably can see you. So... I don't know if that works with me. But that will be interesting, <laughs> don't you think? I'd definitely take my wife over her, that's for sure. She had eyes in the back of her head, at least. <laughs> Yours? She has eyes everywhere. Well, who's ready to go to hell, I guess? Why are these coins so shiny, Bernard? Because of platinum, John. It's so shiny. I've never seen... I've never seen something this shiny. Oh, for fuck's sake, put it down! I can't. I can't look away. It's so pretty. Shiny. The shark is gonna eat you. Oh, shit. Right, okay. It cinches the bag up. Uh -uh. Right. Um. So, about a payment? Oh, right. Uh... Mm. Uh... Bernard, you should do it. Why should I do it? Well, you're the one that account, number one. Number two, I, I can't stop staring at it. That That's fair. All right, fine. You watch as Bernard opens up the bag, and briefly he looks like he's in shock too before shaking it off and casually counting out 50 platinum pieces and spreading it all amongst you. All right, there you go. Uh, normally we don't do this, but frankly, with this much, uh, we're not going to be hiding like at all it doesn't yeah for the love of god complete this job i i i, I want to be rich not even gonna lie you know guys it would be so nice to have a way to travel that is not by foot we literally just paid you 50 platinum pieces for god's sake buy horses I don't think a horse can handle him. Also, I'd be more worried about him eating it. Yeah. Mm, horse. Mmm, tasty horse flesh. <laughs> also, my god, John, you realize what 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 those people said to us that one day, remember? Remember what? You know, why we even started all this? The adventuring guild. How about it? You were right. We're gonna be so fucking rich. Why are we paying them? One, uh, why are we letting them take money once again? Because they offered you a job. Yeah, but they did nothing. This is a this is a fucking girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mugging, <laughs> but without the mugging. <laughs> I kind of wish we killed them in the ninja campaign now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least buy some decent beverages and food for for when we return oh you're goddamn right we are jesus the bird Good. perks up hey what? can i have one of those pastries and flutters its feathers again we have pastries no we don't have pastries what no we don't have pastries we have you are the ones who's supposed to have pastries we don't have pastries. They're so expensive. We don't have the money to buy them now. That's right. We got more on the way. Mm. Oh, and we can actually Here, hire a staff. Damn. Uh. Yeah, and have like a kitchen. Yeah, can I find anything that is food around me? Rice. Anything? <laughs> sure. I'm, I take a bowl of rice. You spread the station. Make it taste like a pastry. There you go. 
good for you. Not the same. Do do I see you press to digitate it into? Probably. A... Huh. Yeah, you see, he grabs it with one hand, and with the other, he does some incantation on top of it, and you see like tiny bit of snow uh, drop on it, and there, there, pastry. Rice with sprinkles. It blinks at you. It leans, it cranes its neck forward and sniffs the rice. Can I make it smell? I think so. I think yeah, so. it smells like a pastry. Yeah, it smells and tastes like a pastry. It, it does feel like rice, though. Yeah, texture of <laughs> rice. <laughs> It extends its neck even further until its beak is just touching the rice. And then eats a, a single grain. Tastes like a nibble of a pastry. <laughs> if you bite my hand, I swear to God. It slowly, slowly begins munching this rice. Still out of your hand, and it still looks like it doesn't quite know what to think of this. I like this bird. You realize so, what you just did, right? What? I didn't want to say it. Everyone think cut it out. Sorry. I was I, just going to say, what, what, what did I just did? I, I know what Moore's thinking. I just don't want to say it. I just look towards the shark. Huh. No, no, no. Back. My food. <laughs> nom, nom. Anyway. The bird flutters its wings menacingly at the shark. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it floofs and tries to make the itself shark far bigger than it is. Backs away. <laughs> anyway, in no time at all, the two chuckle nuts that are your bosses, because... Someone thought this was a good idea. Write up a contract stating that due to the copious amounts of pay you will receive upon completion, that you will be taking half of it upon delivery and giving the other half to the John and Bernard Adventuring Company. Simple as that. Everyone signs. Someone has to shine for a sharky because I don't think he can actually write. Me no read. Because he can't read. Kutawaza signs Bernard's name. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. But no. Hmm. <clears throat> that would be useful. At yeah. some point. But needless to say, you begin your wonderful trek to the last place anyone willingly goes. Good old Akechi. Where is Akechi? It's the fucking ah. hole. The hole in the mountain that more hates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Quick roll. Where's my roll table? There's my roll table. Okay. And survey says. So, am I the only one who's thinking about getting rid of the two knuckleheads? Just taking over their company? <laughs> I'm not saying we should, but I'm not saying we shouldn't. I'm not saying do it, I'm saying consider. <laughs> <laughs> so, Grim, you say that... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, nothing. The Kenku flutters uh. its wings slightly and says, We'll talk later, in your voice. <laughs> I like this bird. Chicken. Oh my god. More? You had something? Uh, it's we're we've been traveling several days now, right? But now? Yeah. Or what's the distance from Shingen to Akechi? Like, would it be a day worth? About uh, well, depending how fast you go. I mean, if you just go at a normal leisurely place pace, maybe two days. Uh, are we going at a leisurely pace, or are we hurrying for this? Nah, I'm not hurrying. How about that? You all can even swing by Shingen since it's not that far and just get some horses, make the trip even faster, but... 
You're also going into a catchy where horses may not be welcomed. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to say that. Anyways, um, if it does take a couple of days then, like, you would have seen him um, praying before an open spot, before making use of Fabricate to use the environment around him to create a um, to create a shrine uh, dedicated to the Kitsune. Um, hoping that this doesn't cause Tenko to come after him, even after he <laughs> continues saying things like, Honestly, I'm more concerned about what uh, what your associate or is going to do with us. And as he says that just before the shrine, I mean no disrespect to you. I simply acknowledge your power and rightly fear it. <laughs> as you fucking should. Especially given who her daddy is and who where he currently rules over. <laughs> the bird is trying to materialize a shrine. It doesn't work. That's adorable and I love it. <laughs> what is your passive perception? I want to try something just 16. for fun. Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> when when you look back to the bird, you see actually two birds doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what is this funny? God fucking damn it. Exactly what I was expecting. Okay, yeah, that's appropriate. But <laughs> with no subtlety at all, as he looks to the side noticing two birds, he'll just shake his head and do the same thing, causing another shrine to appear in front of you. This one dedicated to Tengu. The bird flutters its wings excitedly. Happy bird noises. It circles well, this the life. and inspects it. What is your life? It's about to get worse, I can tell you that much. Mm -hmm. My life is turnips. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, Mommy, are we going to be there soon? Soon, darling, soon. Not darling. again. My life is not, not again. To <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyways. I roll a five. Nothing happens, thankfully. You... That we know of. That you know of. You pass a couple of just travelers just on their way to Shingen. Two humans. Half elf. Nothing really of note. Give you a little polite courtesy bow as they pass by. Until you finally enter. Do they have pastries. No, they don't have pastries. <laughs> <laughs> then they go on their way unmolested. <laughs> <laughs> then they go. <laughs> Oh, you don't. They may leave. You enter. You come to the mouth of a catchy proper. A massive cave entrance with a Tory gate. Just at the foot of the mountain. <laughs> you look. Do we at feel it. anything about the gate? You don't feel anything, honestly. But you do take note that the mouth of the cave. It's massive. Number one. Number two, when I say mouth of the cave, I mean it looks like it has teeth. Now, if I recall correctly, we were supposed to find someone here? In a catchy proper, yes. Ah. Now, here's the ultimate question and the real test of the balls of the party. Do you go in to a catchy? So... Shall we? Just one second. And... No, I'm not going to be a prick this time. Um, this time? Okay, but... I'm assuming that after the two shrines that I made before, I would have gotten a long rest in between then and now. Oh god, yeah. Okay. I'm assuming at the mouth of Akechi, there's no structures, buildings, anything around it, right? Nope, just a massive Tory gate with some interesting and intricate rice rope draped along the gate itself proper. Okay, then probably just after the gate, so that you would have to pass through the gate in order to reach it, I'm going to use Fabricate once more creating a 
shrine to Gojira and all of his centipede goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty much as I'm praying before it, Lord Gojira, your mighty presence is ever something that we should strive to emulate. Please grant us your cunning strength and speed as we delve into your household. And Shrine to Gojira, pray before it. Alright, now I think we can go in. I think this is the third time I've managed to get more to pray to a giant centipede god. Mm -hmm. I love it. Fuck you. I know. Do you have a way to avoid being attacked by the residents of the place? Well, now that you mention it, no, I don't. <laughs> Big okay. Hands up, who, who, who here can see in the dark? Me! The, shark? the dwarf just right. stares at you like you're, like you're asking <laughs> a, a fly if he can fly. Okay, yeah, I know, but what I don't I don't know about anatomy of the dead or or the shark. Can you see? Pointing to the dead. I'd say Hatsu, you lock eyes with Sasori. And you notice you don't see pupils. You're not even sure how he sees. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Let's go. All right. Do we, uh... Okay, so we're gathered up at the entrance to this... Basically, this hole in the earth? Yes, wow. this very menacing, scary hole that has nothing but bad rumors spreading out from it about dark elves, slavery, and a bunch of other horrifying things. Okay. That you're all being paid to go into. Okay, so basically, uh, so as we approach the uh, the entry, the bird looks extremely disproportionately excited, and uh, as we pass over the threshold, it says, "Akechi, the place you literally go if you want to be a slave, dead, or both." You're you're not entirely sure it understands what that means, and then it claps uh it claps the shinobi looking creature undead on the back and says in a completely different voice remember shinobi leave no trace <laughs> oh, fucking damn it oh wait for that pass without a trace <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful that <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care where the flying hell this bird might have heard this phrase. The bird knows this phrase now because that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, where do you think Hanzo learned it from? He didn't come up with that wisdom himself. You probably, you probably encounter a group of people uh, camping in the woods, not doing anything ninja related, say, complaining. Oh, I can hear him. He's going to say, remember. And that. <laughs> <laughs> or from a raven, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Appropriate. All right. How, yeah. how stealthy is a fox, by the way? Stealthy is Since a we're fox? going to stealth, yeah. <laughs> the fox, the, the the stats of a fox. Oh yeah, a fox stat. But it, well, you have the Icewind Dale module. What do Arctic foxes have? Uh, I need to open that. Regardless, I will turn into a fox to make me more stealthy. Uh, white fox with four tails, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> mm. Anyway, you all begin your venture into a catchy proper. Not knowing what you're going to find. Not knowing what you're going to see. Not knowing what you're going to encounter. You walk in beyond the open maw of the mountain begin your trek into utter darkness footfalls and the clicks of talons sounding and echoing off the cavern walls 
Soon, minutes become hours. Hours seem to become longer. For some of you, it feels strange. For the more long-lived races amongst you, it begins to almost feel like an eternity as you walk further and further in. A gentle downward slope deeper and deeper into the mountain, into the earth itself. Quietly, you begin to bicker amongst one another, thinking, maybe you should turn back. You surely should have found something by now. Anything, really. But you continue on, further and further. And just as you feel the inklings of hope begin to dwindle to practically nothing. You find the cave narrows and changes. And again I ask, can everyone see? Or do I need to double check tokens again? I can uh, see. Double check tokens. <laughs> well, you'll Hi, think... because you don't naturally have dark vision. He has to add a... Oh, okay. If it's totally pitch black, I will use dark vision on this. Oh, yeah, it's dark as fuck in here. All right, let's start with the preparations, I guess. Um, Armor of Agatha's ter third level, as usual. I'm going to make it last two hours. Fair. Just in case. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> what are these things? Water. Puddles of water in the cave. Out of curiosity, can any of you speak the language of Akechi? I can speak Elvish. Is that good enough? You don't know. We'll find out. Well, if the answer turns out to be absolutely not, just come to me. I am going to smack you. Spike me? Yes. Okay, one quick Dutch. moment. I think my dog needs out again. Why would you spike me? You mean other than the fact it's funny? I look at the uh, the armor of piercing eyes in my body. Yeah, sure, try that. Let's see how it goes. Fine, fine. Such a killjoy. Honestly, your kind need to learn good jokes. I can make sure you understand them and they can understand you if they don't get it. Honestly, explaining a joke is no fun. Oh, uh, smacking people is a joke in dwarven culture, I get it. I think. Well, I mean, it's what Oda did to me. Who? <laughs> Actually, don't worry about it. He's dead. Are you, are you talking about your ex-wife again? No, I'm... well... You know what, wait, I'm trying to decide if he was more or less pleasant than my ex. No, he was definitely worse. I want to meet this woman already. Okay. Oh, not a woman. Didn't you say wife? Yes. The individual I'm talking about, the one that smacked me and thought it was hilarious. Let me just tell you, he was less pleasant than my wife. The hell did I come back to? Um, Basically comparing Oda Nobunaga to my wife. Ex-wife. Yeah. Fair. Uh, shall we try to stealth or just move like nothing is going on? Me walk. He has the spirit. Well, the bird is going to sneak stealthily along. Actually, I'm going to use this guy's self and turn into a draw. A draw. That's a... 23, 23 I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Around now, I assume that most of us have noticed that Sasori can't see in the dark, right? 
If you would like, you can light a torch. Sasori? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the undead ninja. Sasori Takeda. Okay, I totally wrote down the wrong name for that, which is awkward. <laughs> well, again, I'm using last name, not first. Yeah. That said, uh, Dova, do you light a torch? I don't think Dova's here. God damn it, Dova. <laughs> Here, I got this. Uh... Everyone, I've come to a conclusion. He's dead. <laughs> I can never remember. Is it torch 20 or 10? No. Uh, 20 by 20, I think? Yeah, I think so. So there's that, and addition of that. Save settings. Guys, I find something that is not surprising at all. Big shock. I know, right? Let's, let's, why not? Uh, stealth. Hey! We kind of have a giant torch right next to us now, so. Yeah, I'm oh, expecting the, a giant torch to get attacked before me. The bird is sort of darting around in the shadows at the outer edges of the torch. I mean, Almost as if he's splashing in water. The fuck it's, is it's going really on in here? Effect. So, what you find at the end of this cave, it opens up into, essentially, a massive cavern of sorts. And when I say massive, I mean, you can see where the stone ends, but you don't see anything beyond the walls that you pass by to exit out of this wonderfully long cave entrance. A Tory gate, a plaque beside it, and three skeletons. One that's been there for God knows how long, and two that look a little bit more recent. Can we read the plaque? Yes, you can. It's written in Elvish. Haha. -ha. And written upon the plaque is a simple phrase. Those who wish to enter must first take a leap of faith. <laughs> he's, he's, he laughs. Ha! <laughs> You're gonna love this. Guess what? I haven't loved anything in years, boy. Let me guess, since your ex-wife? No, actually. <laughs> okay, fair. It says we have to take a leap of faith. So, Mr. Cleric, do you have faith? Mr. Monk, Miss, what are you? Who are you talking to? Which one you, of us? There's you, a cleric you, and a monk. No, no, yeah, <laughs> but I don't, mechanically, yeah, but I don't know if that's the word of what you are. What are you? Like flavor-wise. Flavor-wise, um. You would have seen him definitely put on the robes of a shrine priest when, he, especially when he does, a, when he fabricates a shrine in front of him. But otherwise, he doesn't wear those vestments. Well, like I was saying, uh, do you have faith, Mister Priest? If yes, it resulted in everything I knew or loved getting taken from me. I tend to not try not to have that as much. So, who here has the balls of steel to try this? Also, another little note, just because Kodawaza is examining the two more recent skeletons. Can't really tell what they died from, per se. Though, they are garbed in semi-fine kimonos with the emblem of a crescent moon on them. I knew it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have I seen this emblem before? Make a history anyone? check. With advantage, actually, for... Wow. Impressive. Yeah, you having a clue. It flutters its wings and walks over to see what Natsu is looking at. <laughs> um, I'm looking at the gate, having a really bad idea. Kodawaza also looks at the gate. 
<laughs> so. Um, I'm sorry, but I only have one idea. <laughs> it, it turns and sort of tilts its head at you. Um, uh, okay. For, for all of you, this advice doesn't apply. For you, though, Mr. Priest, have you ever heard how not to turn into a yokai? <laughs> what I've heard of Nakano? <laughs> Honestly, at this point, with its rebuilding, given the fall of Oda Nobunaga, and supposedly a member long lost of the house of Nakano was the one to do it, Yes, you would have heard Nakano. You would have heard the phrase, in the very least, of Embrace the Madness. That's a pretty famous line. And in regards to knowing how to not turn into a yokai, never seen that. I have seen someone turn someone from a yokai back into a... You're not going to jump, are you? Let me tell you this. You cannot turn into a yokai if you're dead. Anyways, I'm stepping. <laughs> <laughs> and with that phrase, you watch the Natsu just walk through the Tori Gate and off the edge. And yeah. Otowaza looks a little alarmed. Flutters his wings. Chases after, uh, chases after Natsu. And in Natsu's voice as, uh, as Kotoaza goes through the gate, you hear, this is how, this is why you live so, so short lives. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate. Oh, and yeah. then you watch as a Tengu takes the leap of faith. Oh, she's taking notes, nice. Vanishes into the darkness. I love Tengu so much. <laughs> I do too. Right? The good news is, I, I think I have enough hit points to we stand a pretty f big fall. The good news is, monks reduce falling damage. <laughs> yeah. The bad news is, you don't know how long this drop is. I can survive that. You're assuming I, I cap falling damage. That's cute. Yeah. I said that, not that. Where'd hey. a friend go? <laughs> they jumped. I'm assuming you need to run through the gate first. <laughs> when it goes back around to go through the gate. I see no difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Let me help you. Oh, no. Do you? I'm so tempted. At the same time, I have a policy about roles against teammates, so no. Just in case, remember the, what that thing says. Do you jump, Sharky? He's just gonna look down and then trip and fall. And with a howl born of ignorance, you watch as Sharky vanishes into the darkness, leaving just Sasori Takeda and Nukia Tetsuro standing on the precipice at the story gate. Out of curiosity, Sasori, have you ever come here when you were alive? That's the answer I expected from a walking corpse. One minute. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Don't By the way, Dova, if you're um, muted... Like, did he literally just walk away or something? I don't know. Seems like it. I'm not gonna lie, I DM'd him like twice halfway through this to see if he'd respond. He hasn't said anything. Uh, Lord mm -hmm. Almighty. I think he's dead, guys. That 
damn it, more. <laughs> what a ball. Well, needless to say, after seeing literally everyone else leap through, I would assume Takeo would kind of glance back, weigh his options a little bit. Remember, there's a fine payment at the end of this, and yeet. He's dead. He'll die again. <laughs> and naturally, you're all gifted with the wonderful sensation of falling. At first, it's fucking terrifying. As any fall would be. But after a time, you relax a little bit. Oh, it's a sorry. Yes, it's a sorry. It's a... Uh... Actually, Japanese for Scorpion, oddly enough. Um, okay. But no, you fall into the darkness. You can't see your friends. You hear nothing but the whoosh of air as you plummet further and further, longer and longer. It briefly occurs to you that this fall might even take almost as long as your trip just to get down here. And as you begin to possibly regret your decisions, you're greeted with a very unusual sensation. You feel almost as though you're swimming. You take a brief test for a gulp of air. You find water instead. For one of you, that's no problem. The rest of you, that's fortunate. You try to find your balance, try to figure out which way even is up in this muddled darkness. And you see a light high above you. Each of you begins wailing, kicking, trying to reach the light as fast as you can. Sharky taking his sweet time as he can breathe underwater. This doesn't bother him in the slightest. But, after a brief moment, panic beginning to grip each of you, as you feel your lungs begin to burn, you break the surface of the water. <laughs> Bilbo. Gonna have me as swim to the shore. Ah. <gasps> uh. Mm. I see the shark is happy. <laughs> Did you know that dwarves sink? We don't swim. I see nothing because everything is dark. <laughs> Once again. That was with your damn token. I, I know <laughs> I fixed this one too. I'm actually kind of irritated by that. You there know you how long it takes for me to dry? Don't complain. Okay, can you see now? Yes. Okay. Well, what you see is what you see. You find yourself on a slightly dimly lit shoreline of all things. And on the bank of this lake? River? You're not entirely sure. Is a human woman of all things standing there, just kind of looking amongst you all. Ah. <sighs> uh. Hello. Well, hello there. Welcome to Akechi. Ah. Yeah, sorry. First time. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's quite alright. No one ever expects that first leap. <laughs> um. Don't take this the wrong way. Why so many corpses? Well, are you not the group that was told by Tenko to arrive to aid us. Well, yes, but... Um, still. A lot of corpses. Well, I think it goes a little bit without saying that... These lands have seen some turmoil as of late. Well, do tell. What are we dealing with? I've been told we were supposed to meet a contact, and I'm assuming that's you. Can you shine some light on what's going on? 
You watch as this woman regards you a moment, then slowly kind of peers upward for a moment. Then gazes back down Locke's eyes with you. I think you're about to be shown, honestly, in a matter of moments. I would like to look up <laughs> where she saw where she was looking at. So you're greeted with an insane sight, my dear friend. Because it doesn't look like you're underground. You see blue sky, clouds. You even see what could be the sun itself, though everything seems slightly dimmer. Darker almost. Though there is no real overcast. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Also, Koto, could you do me a favor? Make me a quick mm -hmm. perception check because of where okay. you're standing. Um, perception 20. Nice. You're gazing about this new site. It looks off, thick, even without the corpses littering this entire shoreline. Like, there's mm. just something wrong with the land. You gaze down no. at the... Goddamn, Dota, where have you been? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You know, I want to guess what we did. We threw you into a hole. I'm okay. not kidding. You got thrown into a freaking hole, bro. And now you're here. Okay. But no, Koto, as you take in the sights, you look down at the body at your feet. Very much obviously dead. Or at least you think it was. Until you notice its fingers start to twitch. So the rest of you see the bird throw up its wings as if with alarm and very quickly start back away from this thing. That's God damn it, you spooked my bird. Oh, that's very unfortunate. One moment, I have to pull up a sheet. Why is this not letting me pull up the sheet? There Can it I is. disengage or yeah, I'm probably not. I mean, if you had declared it previously, I would have allowed it. But since you didn't, instead, well, yeah, that's fair. I am so sorry. Ouch. Wouldn't that be at disadvantage if it's prone? Uh, that is correct. Thank you for the correction. I almost forgot. That no, no, point. I'm gonna use my reaction to cancel that disadvantage. No, my please. armor class. No. <laughs> I will kill it should you. Be a surprise round, technically, so it would be a straight <laughs> roll, right? Oh, yeah. Um, well, no, okay, because she did pass a perception check and noticed the body was moving. Right. So she not passed a surprise. perception. Also, surprise also round doesn't fair. give advantage. This is, yeah, that's also true. It doesn't? Nope. Fair. That said, you watch as this corpse twitches a little bit more. Then he reaches out, grabs the sword, thrown aside, takes a slash at you. You definitely leap back and out of the way. And you suddenly have a new problem to deal with. That uh, guy, ha. Huh. Is that the thing from Van Richten's? Because I know they introduced an Asian style undead. Don't worry about it. It's, um. Only one? No. Two? No. Didn't we all be rolling some initiative about now? Yes. What is this initiative you speak of? The I thing. only know. <laughs> oh, yes, nice. the thing. Do the thing. I have a negative initiative. So sorry, calm, calm your people. not acting like my token is selected? There we go. Oh, right. I know music. Damn it. Dova? Just like yep. that. Oh, he's still here. I thought he was just going to disappear. Well, he does need to click his token, though. Because he didn't click it for that initiative roll. <laughs> Crap. Uh... There we go. Damn, you can't keep that number, though. Damn. Tetsuro! So, hearing this woman speak about an oncoming problem, hearing your Tengu friend squawk in surprise and leap back as bodies begin to rise, 
you suddenly realize, yeah, there, there's a problem at hand here. Um, it's safe to assume these are undead, I'm assuming, yeah? They look like drow, but they are pale as hell, and they seem to have a red glint in their eyes, of all things. So no different than normal. And the fact the eyes are seem to actually be glowing. Also, they're really okay. pale. <laughs> like the blood has just left their entire being. Alright. But either way, I'm going to assume that these creatures are stronger than I make... Than I, than your average possessed skeleton. So I'm probably just going to um, spit to the sides, just the remnants of the water coming out. Uh, the moment we get out of sinking like rocks is the moment something interesting happens. Wonderful. And with that, I am going to do myself a favor and... Yeah, I'm going to slam my Naginata um, against the ground. And you see the blade glow as I cast Spiritual Weapon, causing a spectral figure in the shape of the Yushioni to appear uh, right behind uh, the one to the south. Mm. Angry mooing ensues. <laughs> well, <laughs> not bad. Hey, you will have advantage, don't you? What? I, I don't think, think so. I, I'm yeah, assuming so it's up for this combat. Grim. I would say, yeah, you managed to catch this just as they were standing up, so to no advantage. Okay. All right. That being said, 18's not bad. Yep, for 9 force damage. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Indeed. And adding to it, I noticed how little that health went down. Dear God. You didn't think this was going to be easy, did you? No, but that went down, like, barely any. Okay. But just blinking, seeing the Yushiona come out and slam this thing who doesn't really seem to give a damn. I'm going to just growl, move forward, spinning the Naginata as I point it towards the creature. And I am going to stab it, imbuing my blade with energy born of the... Of the yokai power now within, and as I stab forward, Ame no mahitotsu. Please guide my strikes once more. And I'm going to imbue this with divine and searing smite. Ow. Didn't think I was gonna go easy on it, did you? I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> I recommend uh... it. Okay. That's far better. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Fire, radiant, fire, slashing, and poison. Jesus Christ. Yep, already regretting giving you a magic weapon. Okay, so. Do, 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 31. Okay. And additionally, because of Searing Smite, let me just put it up so that way you can see it. Next time you hit a creature, blah blah blah. And essentially, at the start of each of its turns, it must make a con saving throw, or take 1d6 fire damage uh, every time until the spell ends. Fun. Yes! You know what else is fun? I only use five of my movement. I'm gonna use the twenty more to move back. No. No, I'm fine right here actually. So I'm gonna only take a few steps back. That is all. Alright. Not to. Sorry that took so long, guys. Oh that this is good. Don't worry. Okay. 
does the uh, okay these undead do they look physically strong or more dexterous? How do they look? I mean, despite the fact they're elves, they are they are pretty jacked. All right. Um, I don't know if these ones are going to rise. So just in case, I'm gonna do I'm gonna move here and put put one hand forward. Hmm. Yeah, I cast. What is this spell called? It's kind of weird. Rhine's Binding Eyes. Uh, yeah. He needs to make a con. Con? Con? Con. Con saving throw. Okay, the one to your north? Yeah. Con saving throw. And just in case that some, some any of them who are. It's a con, so if they are undead, they also need to make it. Okay. Just in case they, they, just in case they want to rise. Holy fuck! Okay, con strong. Got it. Um, uh, he takes half. By the way, oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say he takes half, and that's it. Okay, more. You had something. Mm. Um, searing. This is my bad. Searing smite is a bonus action which I use to summon these. Uh, the um the spiritual weapon. Oh, you're right. So it gets four health back and doesn't suffer the effects of searing strike, searing smite. Oh fuck! At least it wasn't your higher damage rolls. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fun. All right. Uh, yeah. Not to anything else. Nah. Should I? Is any of you going to tank this shit? You're not, right? I'll tank it. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I just realized I didn't Honestly, roll Honestly, I thought for... Sophia was going to take the top one. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I need to roll initiative for this poor gal, too. I haven't seen Sasori actually try to tank anything. That's a fair point. Yeah, I'll probably head up there after then. I didn't think about that. Don't worry, I can take a hit. Alrighty. Kota Waza. This body just tried <laughs> to slash you, and yeah, they look unhappy. Regardless of whether uh, Natsu thinks he can take a hit, Kotowaza looks a little worried about the fact that he's about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this undead thing. Uh, and so Kotowaza is going to slink up to the side of this thing. And uh, he's, he's sort of circling around it and stops about here to lunge forward and take two swipes at it. Okay. Both hit. Hey, good. Good start. Uh, I'm going to make the first one a stunning strike. Okay, one quick moment while I just reduce that damage. Decent damage, too. God damn it, that held. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Con save. Would you yeah, like... they are pretty good con. Yeah. Do I? Oh, I will save the, the points. You could spend it the flurry of blows and try to hit it two more times, though. I could have sworn... Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just do key field attack and hit it one more time. Mm -hmm. so that's a or maybe fail. Not. You do have inspiration if you would like to take the 17. No. No? No. I don't okay. think so. Alrighty. Would you like so to not be next to this thing? Because <laughs> <laughs> you did attack uh... it, so mobile is in effect. Yeah, no, I think Kotoaza is going to continue circling around and he's sort of he's sort of you can, coming if you around. Want, you, you don't have to this stay here if you want. That he's close to uh Natsu. Wants to stay close to his bay. That's Shut up. That's fucking funny. <laughs> okay. Dinner. In that case. Turkey! Dead people. Yum. Gross. <laughs> I don't think Wait, he's any any kind for? of dead people. What was that, Gogo? -Go? How long have they been dead for? 
I don't know. How well do you know elves? Um, may I suggest something real quick? Because I think it's something Sharky would notice. Go for it. Just, just a suggestion. I, I would think they cannot swim. I was thinking the same thing. Well, what does Sharky do? How far can I eat this fucker? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can push with one attack, right? Yeah, he, he can shove as part of his as an action, and he will go ten feet back. Okay. So how, what would crazy. I do? What, what was it? You would make an athletics check. What? Tova. What the fuck? Okay. That's not good, man. Oh Jesus! I they actually may not be able to pass that. Strangely enough. If uh, if you ra if if you rage before that, that's a twenty-seven. Ooh. I mean, do you, you rage? Do that. <laughs> Ooh. From time to time. A bit of rage in the time. Okay, I don't think you can physically pass it at that point, but let's see. Eat him! Eat him! Oh. Interesting. That was close. So yeah, you eat this poor fucker into the water. It gurgles and it sinks down to the bottom. You do not see him. Nom nom. Anything else? And now I make my way this way and then I stop. And watch in the distance. Okay. It's this guy's turn. And you all watch as, despite the fact this is a corpse, you did lay into it. It does have a little bit of frostbite, some bruising. And then you watch as this coloration of its flesh slowly begins to change. Did he just heal? Seems that way. Motherfucker. And now it has two targets to play with. Bring it. <clears throat> first things first, though. Is going to lock eyes with Natsu. I don't know why I'm picking on you so much, but I think it's funny. Natsu, if you'd be so kind as to make me a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Ooh, that's not good. That's really bad. Is he making an attack or is yeah. he just using a spell like ability? He's staring at him. Okay. Well, I think it goes without saying you have failed. Mm -hmm. Natsu, I hate to inform you, but you are now paralyzed. And you are fucking terrified as you gaze into this drow's eyes. And you can almost hear the whispers and screams and cries of pain of all those that have fallen before him. And now he's going to make some attacks. First one on Koto, because you're just there. Ooh, okay. that's a 13. Yes. I'm assuming that misses, and the next one yes. is going to go to Natsu with advantage because that poor Kitsune is paralyzed. And... or oh, that could just happen. <laughs> okay. As he attacks, as he attacks Natsu, I attack him. Uh, trying to distract him, but I don't think I mechanically can. So it's just an arm, unarmed attack. Um, so that's a Still 23. <laughs> and I'm going to also make that a stunning strike. Okay, I'll say so, that takes effect before he actually makes the swing, so you might have a chance to actually stun him. Let's see what happens. Okay. Nope. Dang it. So the swing was goes. worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Oh, I should roll damage too. You should roll damage. That's why do I have a plus three? Because uh, the second roll is a crit. Oh, yeah. but it's actually only eight. Yep. So takes eight bludgeoning damage as you just pummel this thing in the ribs. You can feel them crack under. Your knuckles. It's a sickening sound. That said, it strike does land true, and my dear poor Natsu, you take fifteen slashing damage. Um, I'm not I sure will... how your features work while paralyzed. <laughs> well, I don't need to use any reaction to use my my bastion of law. Fair. So he takes five, he takes fifteen cold. Does he? Oh, that's right. His uh, armor agathis is up, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yep, I'm gonna use two d8. So I take five. There you go, very nice. Trade over, I take five, you take 15. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that works, that works. And that is the end of its turn. Takeda, you feel a strange kinship with these things trying to kill you, and not in a good way. Hmm. Huh. I gotta ask, so, do I still have the ability to cast cantrips, or do you... I'm a little bit fuzzy on whether or not they use the uh, they spell don't. slots. No, cantrips you can cast freely. Ah. So you can literally cast Eldritch Blast and yoink this guy away from your friends, who is currently in the process of trying to murder. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to Eldritch Blast him. That hits. Roll damage. Okay. I need to go through and fix these sheets again. God damn. Nine. Noink. Do you yoink and him? I do yoink. You yoink. Do I? No, no. I use my reaction. Never mind. Yeah, it's forced movement, so sadly, no attack of opportunity. And oh, then, okay. um, I would like to use my action action surge. Well, first off, you have another Eldritch Blast because you're level eight, so you can shoot him again. Ah. And then you can take your action surge and actually just do it again. <laughs> ah, okay. You won't give the, you won't get the yoink because that's only once per turn, but you will be able to blast him three more times if you decide to Eldritch Blast. Hmm. I'm gonna do that again. Okay, hits. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> and now I'm gonna action action surge. And let me just. So where is it? Interesting. Okay. Huh. Very interesting. Me... Five foot cube is basically just covering this one spot, right? Yep. I think I actually need to see this. Uh, I'm so happy it lets me do that. Uh, if I any creature in bonfire space when you cast spell... Okay, so it does need to roll immediately. Oh, Dextrose is an undead drought. Let's find out today. Survey says... Barely. <laughs> okay, let me see here. I can still cast another um, cantrip, right? Nope. Okay. It requires an action. Yep. Ah, okay. All right. I'm assuming... That's my turn. Okay. And now, my my dear friend, Charky, my, my dear boy who just yeeted an undead into the lake. What's up? Well, the bad news is... Well, actually, the good news is these things do sink to the bottom. The bad news is you're literally on the shore of the bank, so he literally just walks right back up to you. Also, my dear Charky, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw as you turn around at hearing this thing splash back on to the shoreline and you meet its eyes. Um, for the future, you sh if you push it to water, get into the water with him. You can swim, but he can't. You are regretfully now paralyzed. <laughs> and terrified. <laughs> More about that in a moment. As I try to find the thing I use for paralyzed. There it is. Speaking of which. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And now that you're paralyzed and it has advantage, it is going to swing at you, my dear Charky boy. That's a 25. No, or... no, it's not. It's not? Wait, hold on. I'm paralyzed, so I'm guessing I don't have a reaction, right? 
I doubt it. That said, mm -hmm. this is a new one, so I have to actually probably hold on, hold on, hold on. This creature is incapacitated. That's true, so no Cannot reaction. take yeah, actions yeah. or reactions. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Never mind. You do take the damage. Actually, it takes... You're raging, right? Yeah. Okay. In that case, you take only seven slashing damage. But it is I don't really mean to be that guy, but no. did anything do damage to him during the duration of... Oh, right. It's until the end of his, his next turn. Yep. The start of his next turn. Never mind. And He's still the, raging. And the shove action, honestly, does kind of pseudo count as an attack action, so still kind of counts depending on the DM ruling, and I do rule it that way. That's it. Swing number two for 20. You take six more slashing damage, my dear friend. And the good news is that's where their turns freaking end. It's now this poor girl's turn who literally was just here to meet you. I know what she's going to do. She's going to run up to this one. And I'll she's see. going to attempt to make a grab on this poor bastard. Let's see if she hits. Okay, I do have her roll into public. Definitely hits. <laughs> Tetsuro, you watch as this rather small woman literally runs up to this thing, grabs it by the arm, and literally flips them in a throw over her shoulder right in front of you, knocking him prone on the ground. Question, how short is she? She's taller than you, but she's still a fairly small woman. She's still a tall folk. Still a tall folk. <laughs> Dealing 70 bludgeoning damage to this, this poor... 70. 7. And he is now prone. And she just kind of looks at you, Tetsuro. It's like, well, could you do yourself a favor, make yourself useful, and kill it? <laughs> Remind me of my ex. I'll try to imagine that this is my ex instead of you. Alright? <laughs> uh, actually... No, I don't want to. I don't want to play fun with this, or I kind of want to play fun with this, but I am um... yeah. This time I am going to make use of searing smite instead of um, bringing the spiritual weapon over. So I am going to bring up the naginata once again. Bringing out the power of the Yushioni and Ame no Mahitotsu as I try to stab a some bitch on the ground. Or 24. Very nice. That definitely hits and that definitely freaking hurts a lot. And one quick moment. 23 hits. damage. Yep, my dog does need to go out yet again. Poor thing. Poor doggo. Mm. This dog is doing a lot better, though. That's good. That is good. Also, these things are hardy. Damn, I didn't expect that from Undead. Welcome to Akechi. <laughs> Alright. That's a lot of damage. Damn, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Anything else from you, my lad? Uh, unfortunately, I only have one attack. I would move back, but honestly, I think I'm happy where I am, considering. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. Hey, Natsu. Yes. So... You want the good news or the bad news? I'm assuming I'm still paralyzed? Yep, you're still paralyzed. Oh, there's nothing I can do. 
Yep. The good news is, you're alive. You're just not feeling all that great. <laughs> Does he get to save again at the end of his turn? Nope. Sadly not. Ooh, crap. Okay. Mm. Y'all want a deadly. Ooh, you're boy. up, Kodo. Um... Okay, so Koto, Koto Aza looks extremely worriedly at Natsu because he doesn't really understand what's going on. And then he looks over at the undead thing, which is uh, moving towards Sasori. Uh, looks back and forth between them a couple more times. Then, would you say, hypothetically grim, you described this, this place, the light in this place as being a little altered. Would you say we're in dim light or bright light or? I would say dim light for the purposes of what you're thinking. Okay, awesome. So, uh, so Kotoaza steps into Natsu's shadow and <clears throat> reappears between this thing and Natsu and takes two swipes at it, he buffeting with it buffeting it with his wings. It's almost as if he's sort of trying to drive it away from And the, the flames of the bonfire that? currently trying to roast it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that so hits. that's a 17 and a 15. Both it. Okay, that's encouraging. Uh, and I'm going to do a stunning strike on the first one. Alrighty. Might get lucky. Might not. Yeah! But it's stunned! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay. Bumped. And he just stands there, uh, sort of squaring off with this thing. And you know, given that it's stunned, I think my attacks on it have advantage. They do. They do. If you like uh, to just I'm continue pummeling to... this poor bastard. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do flurry of blows, and let's do that whole thing again. Oh, mother. Ha! That's a nice one. Okay, so uh, crit and a 15. Okay, that's so a sad that's... crit. Yeah. That'd be worse. Still, Ruby. just a D6 at this level? Uh, I'm looking it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a D6. You only get a, you get a D8 at level 11. Dear God. Mm. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, one quick moment, because now I gotta go shut a door. <laughs> you did save my ass, though, so I'm distracting good. Him. Man, the only good the only good news about this is if even at, if I take damage, I do damage. So that's good. True, true. See, this is why I, I'm just lazy like that. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Rick, it's been a year used to everything got turning up your way. This is this be like called why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> the bird is not a great strategic thinker, so it's more concerned about the fact that you seem to be standing there stunned, not defending yourself. Uh, but thankfully, it probably won't matter because this guy is now also stunned. The All creature right. automatic fails strength and dex saving throws. That is. Interesting. Yep. And that's the end of my turn. Yeah, that's going to come in handy in a moment. That said, Sharky, you're paralyzed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized I did something stupid. Did you? Yes. Uh, shadow, shadow Step. I think Shadow Step is a bonus action. And I think Flurry of Blows is also a bonus action. And I would be able to confirm that if I could find freaking Shadow Step. Where is it? I think you're right. I mean, yeah, as a bonus action, you can teleport. I mean, and that... uh, yeah, so I took two bonus actions. You, if you move from here to here, you can say that was flavor, right? Yeah, honestly, I could just yeah. say that was flavor at that point. Okay, okay. It's just 10 feet. <laughs> that said, this thing is currently stunned in a bonfire. The worst place it needs to be stunned right now. Uh, so, Take safe. Yeah, I think it automatically fails, though, doesn't it? Because it's stunned. It does. It does. Yeah. So, <laughs> Takeda, if you do me a favor, roll your bonfire damage real quick. I'm going to say this happens oh, first. Okay. Up combos. 
<laughs> I am struggling here. Let's see here. It was... There we go. And like I said, automatically fails. That's a nice bonfire. Yeah, you notice as this thing's flesh just roasts, and it does not seem to be healing this time, strangely enough. And regretfully, that is the end of its turn. Not to. Good news, you're no longer paralyzed. Oh, thank you. I knew it. I was. This has to have a short limit if there's no saving through. This <laughs> thing. Oh, this thing. Takeda, funny enough, it's also just your turn. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. If I may, I want to use this oh, Jesus. to create another Wakazashi. Another one? I can deal with them, right? If you had the feet. Uh, Wakisashi is a light weapon, isn't it? Actually, you know, that's fair. I was thinking more about the uh, two weapon fighting feet, because it. Because you have to draw. Well. But I think you can only have one of those weapons. I mean, I've right? got both of them. No, no, no. One pack weapon, I think, is only. Yeah, but he also just has I, a Wakisashi on him as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Given how your turns went, yeah, no, I could say that you can be dual wielding them. Given the fact that Eldritch Blast literally requires a hand. Alright. Uh, do, do I just attack twice with the same one, or do I need to make another one uh, in the attacks? I did check your sheet. You do have two weapon fighting style, so yes, you can just attack with the same one, and it would just work that way. You do need to actually be up in melee with it, though. All right. If you're wondering, you attack twice with one, and then with your bonus action, with your, the other one. He so would if he was level 5 in Fighter. Ah, so you can. That is a good point. Yeah, you can attack action with one and bonus action attack with the other one. Don't be shy. Oh. Can you? Well, I do not Rest. believe. Uh, let's see. I took my action, so I can't attack. Yeah, I'm taking your this action yet. The fact that Blade says that you need to action to create to break the Ah. Yeah, see, there's a caveat problem there. All right, so yeah, there was, that was your action, sadly. And yeah, you... I'm going to go there, and uh, that'll pretty much be my turn. Okay, fair. Constitution saving throw, Graham. You're right. I think that's a failure. DC is 15. Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, everything is a little delayed on my end, so a Searing Smite at first level, that would burn it for my what internet. It? Burn it for your internet. internet, got it. Give it time. Yes, I'm, I'm waiting to see the burn of your internet. <laughs> <sighs> so this is what they call burning. Okay. Is it just the so, one? Yeah, it's just the one. I mean, believe it or not, that's actually stupidly handy because this thing also doesn't regenerate when it burns. I'm a forge cleric. I do fire. It is a going, lot of fire. It is going to stand the fuck up, though, because it doesn't like being on the ground, especially not when a small woman just flipped it. And it's going to stare at that poor woman, in fact, who now needs to make a wisdom saving throw. And survey says... She sadly fails it and is now paralyzed. I noticed a trend with this ability. That anybody fails? Yes. <laughs> I now is going to persuade. Yeah, it's gonna proceed to uh, swing at uh, at the dear dwarf who decided to stab it while it was down. It didn't take kindly to that at all. That's a nineteen. Nineteen definitely hits. Dick. It's not magical, so eight damage. Eight slashing damage. That's gonna attack the and source. A constitution. It... Ah, you're good. And that's going to swing at Emma with advantage, who decided to flip him like a ragdoll. No advantage. Never mind. I do it, but it doesn't help. Yeah, it doesn't help, sadly. 
And you watch as this undead drow rends into her poor plastic form. That said, she takes it like a goddamn champion. That's the end of its turn. Charky, good news, you are no longer paralyzed. Emma, sadly, is paralyzed. That sucks. <laughs> Tetsuro. Taking a look at this thing, would I have had to deal with yokai like this? Is this even a feasibly yokai thing, or is it more like something you would expect from someone practice it using magic? Frankly, hard to tell. You've yeah, I was afraid of that. Yeah, you definitely heard tales of like yokai possessing bodies and coming back to life. You're a little perturbed by the fact that uh, this woman was apparently expecting this to happen at a very certain time frame. Yeah, yeah, can't really gauge, mate. That'd be fair. In that case, I'm going to use the bonus action to bring the spiritual weapon up because it wants to whack. I just picture a <laughs> severed Ushi Oni head just fucking bull rushing this thing. <laughs> oh god, you're Neo. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow. Alright. Uh, by the way, I don't have control over the Ushi Ona, so you'll have to move it up uh, as it whacks. Alright, cast whack. Whack. For a 20 to hit. It does not get that plus 11. Um, it's just pure 6. Unfortunate. That said, still hurts. Anything else? Yes, and that was just my bonus action. Oh, yay. Clerics. Wondering what would be the best use right now. You know what, uh, whack never fails. Usually. So, I once again bring up the Naginata, and pretty much, well, once I slice at the ankles, I'm gonna go for the neck. Oh lord. Stab for a 19. Hey, yeah, you do fire damage, that's pretty useful. Does it actually take- I am Forge Cleric. It takes all that? Huh? It would take all of that. And so you, 25. And you specifically aim for the neck? Pretty much. Though it wouldn't be like a slash. Um, how I would imagine it, it would be... In terms of flavor, it would pretty much just overhead sweep towards the legs. And as it gets up, just twirl the naginata and bring it up like an uppercut. Just cutting up the body but yeah it would feasibly go for the ne hit the neck on its way up i love that's more that did this i'm just gonna say that right now as i explain how what happens now I'm blind again no so tetsuro <laughs> you spin your weapon about using the distraction of your spiritual ushioni head as much to your advantage as you can, you get a good cleave across this thing's neck. Its head actually seems to lob to the side a little bit, just barely hanging on. And you notice the wound wriggling. Ain't not to be fucking kidding me. And out from the wound, you watch as a centipede begins to crawl out of it. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Ah. Fuck you! You said you went for the neck. This is on you. <laughs> so yeah, you watch as this thing is almost decapitated, and now it seems to have two heads. One that horrifies you out of character. <laughs> I am so sorry. That's that was in my notes. Anything else? You <laughs> uh, 
Alright, I'm, I'm gonna need a minute, so yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Good news, you're not paralyzed anymore. And that there's, thing... there's a token of a centipede on the screen, is there? No, there's not. I'm not that cruel. Okay. Okay, good. I'll, I'll, I'll take a walk. I am pissed out. Um, yeah, um, what was the name of the bird? Uh, Kotowasa, you basically feel like a warm feeling on your back, and when you look, you see Natsu with one hand in the air and five flaming orbs in the air, and it's going to point to that thing as I cast Scorching Ray at level four to the stun thing. Ooh. You have advantage. All of them. So five, uh, five, uh, five attacks. Advantage. Okay, scorching ray. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, I missed one. Oh, this steadily went worse. So then better. Fun fact: you didn't miss. <laughs> oh. They all. Yeah, they all hit. So, oh god, that's so much. God damn. Thirty-seven points of fire damage. Thirty-seven. God fucking damn. Natsu being Holy shit, still alive. Natsu being MVP right now with the most damage dealt. Fuck. Anything Easily. else? Uh, nah, the bird has it. All I don't right. want to spend my my points into that. All right, the bird it. has it. Hmm. I need to read up Stunning Strike real quick, I can't remember. The bird hopes the bird has it. It's until the end of my turn. Okay. I mean, my yep. this my this turn. Okay, that's why I thought. <laughs> you still have advantage, then it's still stunned. Murder this thing. Just don't rip its head off. I don't recommend that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Kotowaza glances over its shoulder and then whirls around to this side of the thing uh, almost faster than you can see just a blur of motion uh, attacks it twice oh. yeah I knew the bear has it okay so that's uh, 23 so as this thing's wreathed in flames it's flesh literally on fire from Natsu's scorching rays you do a quick little dip around it. Plant one solid strike right into the spinal column. It drops to its knees. And with a spinning roundhouse, you hear a sickening crack as it falls dead. Hopefully dead dead. Again. Again. Is, and the bonfire is still going, right? Oh yeah, the bonfire is still going, so he's just cooking and roasting there. So I'm Good. optimistic about the dead, dead thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the bird blows on its feathers, the, the feathers of its hands, to quickly uh, quell the smoke that's rising off of them. And it's... Okay, so far I've used 15. So it looks at this thing, looks down the beach at the other thing, and goes... And goes. Shook. <laughs> Goddamn monks. Holy fuck, yeah. <laughs> monks are the best. Monks with mobile art have even more movement speed, guys. Yep. Yep. Monks. Yeah, I are just said the bird. Zoom. Beep, beep. Zoom. <laughs> Meh, meh. Yes. <laughs> the Roadrunner. <laughs> Oh god, you even had the same color scheme as Roadrunner. Yes! <laughs> I just realized. I swear right. I did not plan that, you guys. Nice. Okay, uh, I think that is going to end my turn, though. You still have bonus uh, action, I'm... so you can either do a quick unarmed strike for sheer shits and giggles, or blurry blows. No, I used to... Hold on. Oh, right, I could do a bonus action attack. You could. Yeah, you can always yeah. do I will, uh... So, this... So, you're standing there, staring at this thing, and then suddenly... A bird that wasn't there a moment before plows into its back. That is... Bad. Oh. Yeah. It does not plow into its back. It, it zooms past the thing. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> and you hear a clattering. <laughs> it overshoots. Buzz kill. Pulls up short as it sees the Ushioni. So, 
Charky, I do have some bad news for you, my lad. You are no longer raging. Oh. Oh, I should have taken an yeah. unarmed strike at Shark. No. Would have missed. <laughs> yeah. But you are no longer paralyzed, so if you would like to, you could rage again and proceed to beat the ever living crap out of that thing. Yes. I heard yes. it. Yes. Would you like to reckless? Yes. You may now attack with advantage twice. And attempt to murder this already dead drow. Good. Bonk. That's Hit good. him with the bonk. Pretty good bonk. First and second. Bonk, bonk. This thing's not looking good. And then... I'm assuming that's the end of your turn, of course. That was action, bonus action, a bit of movement. This thing continues to burn. It's probably not going to come back. Takeda! Uh -oh. Let's see here. So that is 20 foot of movement. Everybody's just huddled around no, and getting up on it now. <laughs> Form the punishment circle. That hits. Let's see, I got to roll damage. Solid. And then he's going to attack with the the second one that has. That hits. So close. <laughs> That's my turn. Alrighty. Constitution saving. Constitution saving throw. It succeeds. Searing smite is done. Unfortunate. That being said, I burned it last on my attack either way, so. You did. Thank you for correct. Actually, wait, hold up. Let me reread re re this. Let's assume every attack I do has fire damage. Yeah, it's the uh, level 8 ability of the forge. Many attacks do fire damage. Okay, yep. Thank you. I had to double check. Yeah, it does not recover. So, it's not looking great. Out of its options. If, who if does... that thing is going to attack her, I'm going to cancel the advantage. Honestly, I think it's going to go after the bird and the ninja. So, bird first. 23. Nothing I can do about that? Ugh. <laughs> Hits. 12 slashing. And now oh, for my dear Sasori. Completely whiffs it. Nice. Okay, it. as it attacks him... Oh wait, no, does it oh, have to I forgot you do <laughs> that. <laughs> no, you, you have to have to land it. Makes an attack, okay, mm -hmm. awesome. So I'm going to uh, take another attack at it. Recovering from the slash that it left across my chest. And Gosh whiff. darn it. Not today, yeah. I guess. That said, it doesn't know any better. It doesn't know what the dwarf is. The dwarf is going to meet eyes. Both with the head just kind of hanging on its side. And the eyes of the centipede. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw more. Uh, you have to describe the second thing. I did. W wisdom saving throw, yeah. Wisdom saving like throw. like some disadvantage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> checks out. I hate centipedes. That's I fucking hate centipedes. Oh. Fucking hate centipedes. Well, regretfully, you, my dear friend, are now paralyzed. But the good news is, that's the end of its turn. And because it's the end of its turn, the paralyzation on this poor gal ends, and she's not too happy about what had happened to her. So, she's gonna swing at the damn thing. A uh, one? Oh, fuck. Nice. nice. Smite! <laughs> How do you want to do this, Grim? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually think she was gonna get the kill. <laughs> uh, but you watch nice. as this woman, in one very swift motion, the soft click of a katana releasing from its scabbard, and a quick flick of the wrist before she returns it into its scabbard. 
This undead drow stands for a moment, before first the head of the drow falls clean off the body, and then the centipede's upper half, sticking out of its wound, falls, and it is down. And we are well over time, unfortunately, so this is where we're going to have to end the session. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, so one quick moment. <laughs> and my apologies to my radical viewers. Um, I did not mean for this to go almost five hours. I I got really wrapped into this. I was having a lot of fun. I lost track of time. My apologies. That said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, great way to show that support as always. If I like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, share it with your friends. And being sure to tune in next week to see what happens next. <laughs> I digress, though. Once again, thank you all for watching, and as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, the lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we will catch you all in the next video. See you then.